and down. So, um, yeah. let's see. When Adrian was going down, you would have seen her walk down the stairs and emerge into your chamber. <clears throat> so, w w when you see it emerge, she's just like suddenly there. She didn't no, it's appear like, to go down there. So she she goes there once. Disappears down the stairs into sh into shadow, and then from the top of the stairs, out of view, she starts to walk down into. The yeah, that's one. Yeah, because uh, okay. yeah. we were told there's like a smooth ceiling, which that doesn't make sense. In a smooth case. ceiling, but I, I assume there's also a, a spiral staircase that goes up into this. That's good. Cool. All right. If I can, I don't I know. I do have an idea, but I, if if I if, if, you know, what's your idea? Maybe we will try. It. Do you have some sort of bobble or rubber ball or something? Well, so I'm just tempted can... to <laughs> toss it I, down I, and watch. I might. Yeah, that's that's a good thought. Can we get let's get uh, these little rocks over here, whoa, or like a piece of metal, or that skull. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's start with a rock. Skull. I still have to ask my questions. Phoenix, <laughs> that's hoping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. get a rock and hand it to Aiden. All right. Yeah, she'll cast a couple miniature fireballs and kind of smooth it down into a nice <laughs> thing that'll keep rolling and, and just tosses it right over, peering after it. I like to re-emphasize Phoenix is where he is on the map. He is not near the <laughs> staircase. These mm. people are chucking things down despite <laughs> knowing it's probably going to back up. Right. Because <laughs> again, Phoenix, not a mole. Yep. It's small. Uh, Adrian, uh, you, you toss the smooth rock down the stairs, you hear it clatter away, clatter away, down, 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 and then you hear it clatter down the stairs above you, mm -hmm. and clatter down. All right, well, let's decide who watches first. Oh, by the way, the, um, the stairs that you guys are camped beside, um, they also go up as well as down. So this is kind of a a, a bi-directional um, staircase here. It takes um, a second watch. Okay. Um, I guess I'll take first. At, um, in relatively good state. Yeah, I can do third. Alrighty. Out of character, I was up at 3 o'clock this morning, so I have no problem getting up at 3 o'clock. In oh, character. Wow. Uh, that's yeah. horrible. Okay. I mean, it's roll for the keeping watch here. Sure thing. Uh, let's think. The music is oh, okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right, Phoenix. Um, a few times the golem sticks his head in, and you just sort of wave him off. Alright, Phoenix, uh, you're going to hear, um, in, in the middle of, of your watch, um, the, the stone, um, the stone boulder roll down that corridor and, uh, smash into the wall, um, the stone golem is gonna come out of its little cubby hole and push it back up, um, but then you're going to hear a is sort of a slithering sound um, coming towards the door where where you guys entered this room. So remind me, for getting ten up, we have a chance to kind of react and set things up, don't I? I can wake the others up. Uh, yes, correct. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm definitely waking everybody up. <laughs> slithering. Slithering. What? I'm slithering. slithering. Oh, right. stupid bear. 
snake person coming. Get ready. Oh, I'm a Slytherin. Let me talk to them. Wait. You're not a snake. Well, actually. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> sure thing. <laughs> No, I don't so, have yeah, to speak just to kind of gestures that everybody should probably be standing to this side, think, so that when he comes in, we, he doesn't immediately see us. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Would I have enough time to prepare my spells by this uh, time? You probably, yeah, I'm, I imagine you would have done that like before you go to sleep, so yeah. Alright. Yeah. What, what the fuck? <laughs> hang on, hang on. I, I got, I got to resize it here. Hey, it's a little better. <laughs> okay. So, um, there is a slithering sound. The uh, the door gets pushed open, and um, there is a skull that is hovering. Um, in the middle of the of the air here, and there is strangely a a scattering of of gold coins also kind of floating gently beneath this this skull here. Floating. Yes. Um, does he notice us? Waiting for him. Uh, the skull is not is not reacting in any way, nor is the treasure uh, beneath it. But everything seems to be moving kind of as as one unit mm -hmm. as it moves into okay. into the room. It's moving in this direction, apparently. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, um. 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 <laughs> I don't know how proactive how proactive I'll be here. I, I kind of want to see what it's gonna do, but I, I can I can I stand at the ready? Like, would that be a defend move, or or is this just basically you're gonna tell me when something happens and then you react? Um. Can I get ready? You, to... you do have plus one forward from the, oh, okay. uh, spotting this, so you you kind of are sort of at the ready already. Okay. Makes sense, um, makes sense. I'll just be ready to, to whack it with my walking stick if it if it looks at me. Okay. Okay. Phoenix, what do you do here? I'm... Hmm. Honestly, if it isn't bothering us and we're not bothering it, I'm quite content to let it just kind of go past. Uh, so I'm just kind of going to... Gonna, Peer to, water, towards the skull. Try to try and notice any anything particularly interesting about the treasure and so. Are you alright if I look closer and just kind of examine the situation a bit? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, discern realities. Yeah, that's one. Sorry, messing up my apocalypse worlds. <laughs> there are so many. Wow, Phoenix. All right, and then since you get the plus one board, it's actually a 12. So, all right. Okay. Um... You have uh, plus, what? plus three wisdom? Wow. Yeah, yeah. He always okay. does the smart Pretty much, thing. So long as it doesn't involve actually physically fighting, he's really good at it. <laughs> we're getting hit. Like, if, if we're talking the names and charisma, that uh, Phoenix has it in spades. Just don't expect him to actually stab himself because he's still minus one on there. <laughs> Let, let's go with uh, what should I be on the lookout for here? All right. You peer closely at the skull and the treasure. Um, and you notice there is a a very faintly, very transparent uh, cuboid shape around encasing the skull and the treasure. Ah, okay. Okay. And the cube is floating. Not that I see it. Just... I'm um, sorry. 
the cube is floating or things are floating within the cube? Uh, you, right, the, the things are floating within the cube, um, but the cube itself is very hard to spot. Gotcha. Uh, what, what here is not as it appears to be? Parts of this cube. Um... Does it seem like an alarm magic or something like that? Uh, no. This seems like, uh, this seems like something that sort of just, uh, just patrols kind of randomly, um, and, uh, goes about and searches for, for anything it can consume. Okay, um... Can I hold the last one for to see how the situation develops? Okay, sure. Yeah. Uh, Adrian, what do you do? I really... I don't... Would I have noticed the cube as well, or am I just seeing floating coins in a skull? Yeah, I was about to say, uh, Phoenix kind of gestures to the cube. He kind of outlines it for them to make it easier for non, yeah. non elves uh, to notice. Because anything. at that point, I would have been crouching down, making as if to try to like grab coins in a cash grab type of <laughs> scenario, but also looking at the other two to make sure that like they don't see something that I yeah. also don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, and I see Phoenix's Phoenix Phoenix. gesture, and I'm like, okay, fine, okay. Nope. <laughs> all right. We all look at the DM to see what happens next. <laughs> the, the, the cube, uh, I'm sorry, the, the skull and the treasure um, uh start to float towards you, Adrian and Cliff. Uh, and you feel a, a gelatinous wetness press into your, your body as, as this moves forward. I would, I, would like, I would like to whack. Okay, whack away. Make a hack and slash. <laughs> I need to stop making a hack and slash. <laughs> where's hack and slash? There it is. Uh, experience. <laughs> oh no. Oh, gods. <laughs> okay, you, uh, arms behind the group. <laughs> you, you try to make a, make a whack at this thing, but it just, it just envelopes your, your arms as well as yeah. the front of your body. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, I would like to turn into a statue of myself. Made out of stone. If uh, I may. Or, or well, you 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 get to make if you want. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> oh my. Okay. No. 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 <laughs> Okay, um, the, the acidic secretions of this cube seep into your clothing, into your skin, and do nine damage to you, Cliff, as, as, you, as you try to flail desperately at this yeah. fancy, whatever it is. At, at this moment, I would like to uh, instantaneously turn into stone. The difference okay. is, is nearly imperceptible, but I lose a bit of color and... Uh, I, I, I am entirely motionless and very heavy. Okay. Um, I guess I'm not um, any heavier because I'm the same. Whatever. I don't know. But I'm, I'm made out of stuff. That's uh, yeah, how it works. Probably, you're probably let me, heavier. Let me, yeah. let me click on that just to just so we're all on the same page. Uh, mm -hmm. And. Oh, good. Wow. Hey! 
That's better. Yeah, alright. That succeeds. Um, that definitely succeeds. Alright, you hold three. Mm -hmm. Um, well, in this form. Hmm. Uh, if I if I may suggest a move, uh, yeah. can I spend a hold to avoid damage? And that way, like each time I spend a hold to avoid the damage, my 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 stone form loses loses a little bit of stability, but I don't actually take the damage. Sure, that works for me. Okay. Adrian, you have this wet, viscous. Transparent gunk enveloping your front. What do you do? Uh, does it seem like it's just traveling, meandering, and that if I plaster myself against the wall as tight as possible, it, I might be able to pull free and let it keep traveling? Uh, it, it is. It is. Um... Or is it advancing upon us? It, it is advancing upon upon you guys. Okay. Plus, I just whacked it with a stick. True. Yeah. Yeah, you did probably get its attention. Okay. I will... I will try to, like, pull away from it as best as possible and stand against the wall while at the same time... Um easing the tip of my staff into the into the into the goo and casting magic missile directly in okay uh make a it, it's pressed against you um so make a Just... make a strength defy danger to get away to pull away from this messy stickiness okay. of the cube. <laughs> no, I guess not. No. But, I mean, does it matter if I pull away or not? Can I still, can I still cast a magic missile at it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. Uh, Adrian, your magical defenses will flare as, as this cube descends upon you, but it will still do uh, 10 minus whatever your magical, dam magical shielding is I to you. It's just two. I think it's so just both two. you and Clip are enveloped in this in this cube. This um, okay. You can you can do magic missile. All right. Yeah, I will still cast magic missile. What is the size in here? Like, how much room is there to maneuver? Um, it's thirty feet across and. Uh, Sixty or seventy long. I mean, <laughs> oh, yeah. What? Uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> oh God. Okay. I probably better get a piece of paper and a pen just to write down my experience. <laughs> that would be a good idea. Just add it okay. directly. Yeah, okay, Adrian, you can, I could. you can choose to you can choose to forget two spells or do damage to you and Cliff. Uh definitely would for, forget two spells. The blob is absorbing your spells. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully he won't the, use the them block, against us. The cube starts to glow with arcane energy as Adrian forgets her spells. Yeah. Phoenix, what do you do here? Your companions have been enveloped by the cube. 
Hmm. <laughs> Is it wrong to say leave them to their idiots? Why what? did they attack them? Why? Um, <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, do they seem capable of any movement whatsoever? Like, can they still move their feet and bring this thing with them? <laughs> well, I figure it doesn't have traction, so therefore, wherever they walk, it goes with. Uh, but they're inside of it right now. Oh, they're actually inside. Oh, sorry. I, I thought it was still kind of swarming over them. They, they have literally been swallowed. Literally. Okay. I am tempted to use my new move, but I haven't made the thing yet. So let's see what else I have as a possible alternative. <laughs> Ah, yeah, okay, I know what I'm going to be doing. Let's go up to 11. And the ph uh, Phoenix is just gonna, again, stare at Mr. Bear, stare at Adrian slowly being consumed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> big long, big, big long drawn outside. And basically, he just starts uh, walking through into the corridor away as if he's about to walk up and uh, ditch them <laughs> to their fate. They guys, no less than they deserve. <laughs> but uh, as soon as he can, can, can see the, the golem or see into the golem's room, he's going to start and let me see I don't have any rhyme prepared for a golem but I'm sure I can come up with something oh great golem over there it seems my friends are stuck for they are without care I want you to go and strike and flee them Honestly, though, it's... Oh, I had it. Ah, I guess the spell fails. Blah, blah, blah. Honestly, though, I don't know if I need them. Uh, I don't want to rhyme them with them. Give me a second, I'll open up my mouth for sorry. You keep a thesaurus on hand. <laughs> yes, genuinely. I keep a rock thesaurus and a rhyming tool on hand. <laughs> you didn't think I actually spontaneously came up with all of these just off of my... Oh, yeah, because, uh, I have it perfect. Uh, uh... Yeah. A mighty golem over over there. My friends are stuck for there without a care. Go over and save them. Even though they are stuck in flame. Hey. <laughs> so let's hope this works and we don't end up with a golem that wrap mauling us. Yes. Go on, free my friends, <laughs> and then he kind of ducks out of the way because I don't want to face the goal. <laughs> uh, well, Phoenix, wow, uh, <laughs> oh god, I... The golem will smash through it, its little dividing wall here, charge in the room here, and start to beat on the... on the cube. <laughs> Ah, uh, the um, the golem will will mindlessly start to wail on it. Uh, 
and the cube will uh, will not seem to be uh, seem to notice the the golem uh, hitting hitting it. Um, uh, bits, little bits and pieces of, of the cube will uh, will splatter over over the walls and nearby, and eventually the uh, the golem itself will wade in along with uh, you, Cliff, and and uh, Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> um, still, still flailing about. Um, okay, so the golem is is putting Cliff and Adrian in additional danger here as right. as it tries to defeat the the, the cube. Mm -hmm. uh, Adrian, you are still trapped in the cube. Mm -hmm. The fists of the golem are swinging close to your face. Mm -hmm. uh, and Cliff is a statue in in the uh, in the cube itself. Right. So, what do you guys do here? This is a dangerous situation. I would like to spend a hold to uh, be made out of stone and not take damage. Does that work that way? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay. sure, sure, sure. Or at least resist in some way. Yep. Resist harm. <clears throat> resist movement. Resist. Okay, Cliff. Uh, Kind of a shitty wild shape if I've ever <laughs> thought of one. <laughs> okay, Cliff. A an immensely lucky uh, swing of the golem's fist mm. will uh, propel you out of this cube <laughs> and into the wall uh, back this way. You're, okay. you're still that, stat Right. Is that two um, hold from the two impacts or just one? Uh, one from one from the combination of the, the golem hitting you and the cube trying to dissolve Okay. You can spend another hold to avoid damage with the wall. Yes, I would like to do that. So I have okay. one hold left. <laughs> I think that's your third hold. Is it? Oh. Oh, did I avoid damage earlier? One one when you initially... Uh, no, I'm sorry, you do still have one hold left. Yeah, I don't think they use hold when... Yeah, because you, yeah. he okay. you took damage the first time. I did, yeah. Nine... You you did, but you were not a statue at that point. Oh, correct. Right. Yeah. So Adrian, you're still in the cube with the uh, flailing golem. That's... What do you guys do? Okay. Adrian, there's yeah. only one solution: fireball. That is what I'm <laughs> contemplating. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is what I'm contemplating. Uh, stone here, Phoenix, you're out of the way. Would I have enough faculties oh, yeah, to think about? Way. I'm ducking in blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am not Just burning. Dive for it, because you know. <laughs> I, I know. I know what Adrian's uh, first port of call is when things go rough. Yeah, you, you see. Yes, uh, I might be all but immune to fire now, but that's not take that chance. Right, you see this just this glow appear from within the cube and start expanding slowly. <laughs> hey, nice. <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh... Spend my last hold. <laughs> oh. I mean... It wasn't that no, bad. No, you but... can um, on a on a eleven on a ten plus. You can oh. emote to increase the power. Yes, that's true. What do I do to increase power? Uh, you can well, you choose from the Does seven it... through nine list, and then you can yes. either double the targets or um, increase the potency of the spell to the maximum. Well, of so course we're case. of course we're increasing the potency. We're going to go to 6 damage on that cuz I've only got one target. <laughs> and I'm right next to it. I'm basically hugging the yeah. 
Yeah, you're, you're inside. I mean, it's it's yeah. hugging you. Yeah. Exactly. It's, it's giving you a hug, Adrian. <laughs> it wants to love. Okay. Ah. Oh, okay. Uh, Adrian. Oh shit. Adrian. Mm-hmm. Uh. There's another thing you might want to do. You might want to uh, counterspell your own spell on yourself here. Uh, I mean... Or go out in a blaze of glory? I mean, six oh, damage isn't be... going... Six damage isn't going to kill me. And in fact, my uh, armor is going to keep me pretty alive. Uh, the, the fireball at max damage is 12 damage. Cutting through any armor that might be there. Oh, hang on. But I rolled a three for damage, not a six. Uh, I thought you said you were going to increase the power of this spell. Yes. Which, yes. in the context of fireball, is the damage. I don't know. I'm doubling the double? I mean... Uh, my, no. my initial. Instead of instead of instead of rolling two d six for the damage, the damage is twelve. Oh, Four. oh! You just I just max it out. What? Okay. Then yeah, I think it would be a very good idea to uh, counter spell. Which is which is take one of my prepared spells on intelligence. All right. If I if I. Okay, counter spell. Says give me. Oh, good. Oh, great. Cool. All right. So, Adrian, you cast your fireball. It expands within this cube, um, eating away at its gelatinous nature. The iron golem itself will take damage as well. Uh, you yourself will start to feel those flames flickering around your body. Mm -hmm. You'll counter that. Um, Phoenix and Cliff, you mm -hmm. will see the the gelatinous cube expand like a big party balloon <laughs> with a massive <laughs> fireball inside of it, and then it will be consumed and pop. And just acid it, splatters all over the walls. No fire mm -hmm. at all. <laughs> By the end of it, I'll climb out of a pile of rubble. <laughs> it was me. Yeah. And Adrian, meanwhile, is like picking herself up from the puddle of goo and saying, Who's the Phoenix now? And she stretches. <laughs> Re reborn from the goo. In my own flames. Yeah. Phoenix, walk, Phoenix walks out and goes, hmm, <laughs> bloody blu bruised and battered, half dead, totally without harm or singe marks. Yeah, who's the Phoenix? <laughs> That's true. The, uh, the iron golem in being caught in your fireball, Adrian, yeah. will have um, several parts of itself ripped off and... Uh, scattered throughout the throughout the room mm. so it's kind of laying there sort of helpless well we might have trouble getting back this way with him <coughs> but you um, can always check out that door no we checked out this way bad idea we, we did yeah yeah that was, was the one with the door. Weird seal and ominous writings. Remember? Oh, right. Okay. Uh, <coughs> I'll walk towards the globe. Does it look remotely repairable? Um. Uh, potentially, but um, it was also just attacked, so it's kind of volatile at the moment. Still having a giant metal robot around to help out sounds useful. Yeah. Uh, we don't know that it's going to help. If it's bad. Bad. Oh, 
assuming, if I'm assuming, or for, so, uh, since it's a magic. Mm, Phoenix has a very uh, magnetic personality. Why was the grin? But I use car sales. <laughs> Never met an enemy that didn't want to join me yet. At some point. Mm -hmm. Sure, that's true. Uh, should we move on? I, you know, after a, after a, uh, some some of a rest, I'm still not feeling my best, but. We gotta move, we gotta move. That was the first watch, right? Yeah. Yeah. So what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it means Phoenix is most likely taking second watch as well, and you guys are going to rest and recover. Okay. So your your second watch becomes first watch? Or I guess it was first watch. Just I think, I, I think I'm just watch. being watch and used to a recovery. And Phoenix is going without sleep. Like, Is that okay? Can we, can we, take minus can we attempt, one for insomnia. Can we attempt two rests in a row? Uh, blah, blah, blah. First one kind of failed. Uh, true. Um, let's see. I think that it works so that if. <laughs> You guys heal up to half of your health um, mm -hmm. if you successfully make camp. Okay. Which you have. And then there's also clip your plus 1d6 to right. helping people uh, oh. uh, heal during, during the rest. Mm -hmm. um, So what happens during the watches, I... You heal after that? Uh... <coughs> I think so. Oh. What about uh, Adrian's spells? Those, those were seemingly fixed up at the beginning of the watch. Did they is she able to? Um, I, uh, she I, w she would have to she would have to prepare spells. I think I'm just up. too exhausted okay. to prepare them immediately yeah. before going yeah. to sleep. Yeah. Right, right, right. Sounds good. So we don't kill yet. We still have other watches left. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Well, I'm second watch. If I can do uh, that and rest at the same. time. I think I'll just take the watches. Bear, right. You look dead on your feet. Well, I'm not gonna. Argue. <laughs> I'm still sick, by the way, from that spider. Yes. The hence why you look dead on your feet. Take <laughs> <laughs> it easy. Well, we could be once the two of you are somewhat more together. <laughs> Alright. Yep. Um, was all the treasure melted, I guess, in the giant fireball? Uh, yep. Melted, but can we chip it off the floor? Sure, if you want to. <laughs> yeah. Little globs of gold, sure. Okay, I'll do that whilst they are resting and I'm watching. <laughs> <laughs> globs of gold. I'm sure I'll find a use for that somewhere. <laughs> scraper and just I'll, I'll collect some coins from that from that goo if, if that's doable I, I I don't have any at the moment okay there is a lot. 150 gold uh, between all the all the pieces uh, in the in the queue so all right so they're, they're melted down into little globs, but you might still be able to spend them somehow. Taking 50 each? Sound reasonable, but is this a reasonable party? I don't know. <laughs> I see a coin counter on the, on the sheet. They'll just add coins as an item. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<clears throat> uh, how much health are we regenerating by taking another watch of um, resting or another? You're uh, still, it's still the original watch. You haven't actually recovered yet from last time. Okay. And, and, and in other words, I would I would think that if you know if you survive the night, you gain half back, half okay. of your health back. All right. That includes all the watches. All right. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It does. Okay. Uh, so Phoenix, you're taking the second watch as well. Yeah, just just assume I'm keeping watch straight through. Do you want me to oh. roll for each of them, or just keep that one watch going? Uh, no. Um, you can you can just roll one more time. Sure, hang. Right, so you do two watches, not three. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm just abbreviating it because. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Damn, man, I'm on fire. Really. Yeah. Okay, Phoenix. Um. <clears throat> Phoenix, can you go ahead and roll a a one d four for me? You know. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm just sitting there, you know, casually piling up globs of gold from the tiled of the floor. Uh, you, you notice that your, uh, your staff that's lying on the, on the floor beside you, um, has started to, started to, uh, exude an energy that is sort of cracking the, the floor, um, beside the head of the staff. And, um, something is, is emerging from those, those cracks. Energetic cracks in the floor. Yeah, that's bad. Um, this is probably beyond the stretch of bardic lore, isn't it? So, can I uh, spout lore to work out some way of stopping that? Uh, sure. Nice. <laughs> See, you might be the Phoenix who controls fire. I control <laughs> metaphorical fire because I am definitely wet. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, okay. As I told you, strength, dexterity, and constitution haven't been touched pretty much. Yeah. The rest are great. <laughs> Okay. I've got to remember this for future characters because I like everything level and that no that's and it's a bad idea. You specialize. Yeah. For instance, I think I've stabbed somebody a grand total of three times in this campaign. Mm -hmm. Every single one of them was a fail. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't do it. <laughs> Unless I want to explain. Okay, Phoenix, you um you have the the uh, the i the knowledge or the idea that if you if you wrestle mentally with this staff you can get that that those cracks to to disappear and whatever it is to to not come through okay that should be fun um yeah adrian i'm afraid you're being woken up to kind of assist for this one if that's all right yeah well as long as it was far enough through your second watch that I would have been waking up anyway. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I, I wake. I, I wake up, Adrian. Adrian, staff's being weird. Mm. I need you to be a magical backup. Okay. All right. Don't fireball me. No, no. <laughs> he goes towards the staff. Pauses. Goes back towards Adrian. I repeat. Don't fireball me. 
Right. Just so we're absolutely clear. Also, don't fireball the area around me. Don't fireball the staff. No <laughs> fireballs. Good. Are we, Chris? We are. We are. Okay. okay. Yeah, I go to try and uh, wrestle with this. Uh, and Adrian, you're doing a aid or interfere here? I'm looking over and just making sure. Yeah. I would aid and oh. interfere. You could interfere. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna aid. <laughs> Alright, so that's a success. Phoenix, you have a plus one from Adrian's uh, giving her magical and knowledge. Uh, Do I also get the plus one from the watch and waking up? Um, yes, you do. Yes. yes. So it's plus two. Okay, I grab hold of the staff. Um, All right, staff. Me and you, we need to have words. <laughs> no make, weird uh, summoning of whatever the hell this is. <laughs> make a wisdom defy danger. Sure thing. Add the plus two. Nice. So, 11. Okay. Uh, you wrestle with the staff. It glows and pulses in your hands. Um, but you manage to, to conquer its own innate desire um, to bring things into the world. And uh, those cracks will, will dissipate and the staff will, will lay... Uh, uh, docile in your in your grasp, Phoenix. Okay. So, staff, let's talk. You're obviously capable of interacting with the world without any input from me. What was the deal there? Why are you Freud trying to summon things into the? Uh, hmm. You you're literally asking the staff. Yeah, both physically. Verbally and mentally. This is some weird, powerful staff. I, and honestly, if Adrian thinks I'm crazy for talking to a staff, um, I'm not massively worried. So if that, even if it, it's... I don't think you're crazy. Work, I was there, I saw the weird things crawling out of the cracks in the floor, too. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, we're, we're good. I believe. Plus, it's Adrian. She has the credibility to slander someone of, you know, <laughs> a small gnome. Right. I mean that of the garden variety, not the fantasy variety as well. <laughs> Phoenix, you have a you have a vision as you ask the staff of all of the all of the chaotic elemental energies that were seeping around in the plane of transformation. Oh. Um. Ah, damn it, there's not a private channel, actually. Um. Whisper? I... Oh, no voice for I no, no voice chat. I can just type it in a second. But um, actually, no. It's it's fine if you guys know it because you can know out of character and not know it in character. Okay, yeah. so this actually works out amazingly well because my good friend the Phoenix has been talking to me. Phoenix yeah. coins, and he's given me a way of opening up portal stairs around to summon fire. So. If you keep things cool and under control, I promise you, at some point, we are probably going to need that ability. For out of character knowledge, it's the emulator's move. Uh, watch the world burn. Uh -huh. Nice. <laughs> I thought it very apt for a phoenix who, yes, Adrian might well have been using fire for forever, but now, <laughs> now phoenix is going to just once at the end of the campaign go, Actually, guess what I could do? Fire <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, turn, turn My fire into a bunch of... Fire. <laughs> oh. 
gonna turn into a big bear bear. Well, I'm a bit gutted I didn't have that grand reveal when I wanted it, but nonetheless, right. it's still, yeah, I'm negotiating with the staff. This point of, hey, that fire is going to come from your elemental plane anyway. <laughs> I want the same thing as you, just, you know, save it for an appropriate time. <laughs> uh, as, you, as you make this promise, a flame-shaped design will uh, etch itself into the back of your hand as a reminder of that promise. Awesome. I am officially becoming more and more like a flame god. <laughs> Do I see this at all? Mm. Like just watching. Uh you you would have you would have you would have definitely seen the flame etch itself burning into Phoenix's hand, yeah. Oh yeah, my eyes go big and I'm like, I had nothing to do with that. Just to be clear. <laughs> Phoenix, without looking towards Adrian, just says, what, 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 what do you mean? Have you cast some weird spells again? No. But it's totally clearly joking as if he knows what she's on about. <laughs> okay. It looks like the Phoenix is continuing to bless me or something like that. Also, my staff is psychotic and wants to watch the world burn. But mostly <laughs> the former that's not focused on the latter. Does being marked by the flame carry any benefits, or is it just a reminder? Uh, it's just a, a reminder that uh, that you made that promise, yeah. It may carry something, not any benefit. Potentially, but it's if it is, um, it might be pretty obtuse to you, yeah. Phoenix. What that, what that purpose, what that uh, benefit is, benefit or um, detriment is. So sure, sure. Uh, it's probably something to study and look into when I'm not in the middle of the Death Star kind of ways. <laughs> so. You know, I, I'll I'll make a note of it for future reference to maybe do, do some studying and uh, next time we're in town or something else about lore about it. But for now, yeah, I'll I'll just take it as cool. I am clearly marked by flame. I am impressed. Uh, Cliff, as you emerge from sleep, mm -hmm. um, you might be a little bit more suspicious of of Phoenix as he has this flame symbol on his hand. Wow. Um, but you guys have successfully uh, <laughs> uh, cool. to, We know how to fall asleep. Managed to uh, successfully make camp here, and you can heal uh, up to half oh. your, your health. Does that, do I get that, that extra 1d6? Do we get that uh, extra yes, 6? Not that I, I guess nobody needs it. But, yeah. Well, Adrian, 7, 15, yeah. Tops, uh, six. yeah, it would help Adrian a little bit. Uh, do you, when you, when you heal by half, by the way, is it rounded down or up? Is it D&D rules always round down? I would, I would round up. Okay. Round up. I'll take that. Give you give yourself an extra hit point there. You know, you're probably gonna need it. And I'm I'm still sick. Ah, uh, you're still sick from the spider gun. <laughs> yeah. Is this thing uh, isn't really meant for 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 fighting? I'm holding up my my staff. I need to get. If this is gonna be a regular thing, I might need. Some more effective. Uh, it, it really, it really is just a walking stick. It's uh, fairly thin. I just have some throwing knives. I've got a. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't turn one of them down if you can spare it. I, I got pretty good aim. 
Um, it's usually with stones, but I can. I I'll, I'll hand you over free throwing knives. Because I stole oh. the ones that I picked up from uh, Silver as well to add to my collection. So. Thank you. It's already helpful. Um, obviously, I trust you a lot more than Adrian, but just <laughs> in the off chance that you've gone to her school of being an ally, he says with a pointed glare. Mm. Throwing knives go into it. Bad guys, I am not the bad guy. Do not throw a throwing knife at me. Uh, wasn't planning on it. Already a step ahead of some people. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have a thought. Is there any of the gelatinous mass that was that skull left splattered in the far corners of the room? Uh, the skull and a small amount of the gel um, inside the skull is, is sitting in, in a corner. Why? Sorry, Ian, what's your character's name again? Oh, uh, Cliff? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Clifford Williams. Seeing how it's a serious moment, I will actually call you by name. Uh, Cliff. Adrian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I reckon if that can absorb things, we could probably repurpose it as an antidote for, you know, Cliff's injuries and his poison. Hmm. I reckon it's possible. Sure, it might, might possibly be. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's worth investigating. I don't know if we can do that in a reasonable time frame, but uh, if this ain't going away, then it's not a bad idea. Maybe we should collect some. We can try it. Would a druid such as yourself be more adept at? Maybe that, that, that's that's so so out of character. Does this make any sense at all to me? Yeah, like, it uh, does actually. Um, okay. You can try to make a uh, a wisdom defy danger to try and whip up some kind of a cure from the gelatinous mess and whatever herbs or whatever you have when you pack. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Cool. Uh, you, you build a little campfire, you bring out your little cooking pot, you dump in the ooze, you dump in some herbs, you mix it together, and by the end of it you have something that you think might cure your poison here. Yeah, I think I think this is actually going to help. Thank you for suggesting this. I uh, might, uh, one of my domains is healing, along with really? fire and rebirth. By the way, Phoenix, what is your domain? I'm the Herald of the Phoenix. <laughs> mm. Therefore, whatever the Phoenix does, I do. And uh, Cliff, you actually have enough there to for to make another um, antidote that uh, you can bring with you. Uh, Sorry, I, I couldn't I can hear that. I had to step away for a second. I have let the cat out. Should have said something. What were you were you talking to me? Uh, yes, I was saying okay. that Cliff. Um, there's actually enough of the of the of the of your concoction there to have another antidote that you can oh, carry oh. with you. All right. That's uh, zero weight? Yes. Happy to help, Mr. Bearman. <clears throat> Just save a pat on the back. <laughs> yeah, okay. if, if anybody else needs this, I, I got it. Uh, Adrian, you mm -hmm. prepared spells again, presumably? <sighs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, you know, as the as the potioning is going on, I'll take sure, that time. Sure, sure. Okay. Let's say it's uh, guys... it burns your throat and your gums a little bit, but it it's it, it helps with nausea. Mm. Or I guess it's an antidote, so it helps with whatever. But yeah. yeah I think burning is uh, spicy food is one of the least of the. Uh, Unpleasant things that we've gone up against. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, if that's the worst that you have to endure, uh, that's pretty lucky. Uh, okay. 
Well, what do you guys do from here? Uh, I suppose we're going down this way. Don't like to look at that staircase, but <laughs> we peer over. Is there any light down there? Uh, it is darkness beyond a few uh, few feet down the stairs, so you can't really tell what is down there. I'm going to scout ahead like before. Does that sound good to you guys? Mm -hmm. I won't go far. Sure thing. Just make sure you stay safe. I will. I will. I'm going to turn into... Let me check here. I mean, I can shape into more than this, but this is just my immediate uh, inspiration here. I'm going to uh, turn into a rat. And can I see a little bit better in the dark or sense with my whiskers and so on? Uh, yeah, as, as a rat, you, you, get, um, you get plus one to discern realities, yeah. Okay. All right, you hold two, all right? And as a rat, you can also, um, you can also kind of scurry without being seen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would that be a, a hold, or is that just kind of passive? Uh, that, that would be a hold. That's okay. Scurrying quiet. Yeah. So just, the plus one to discern realities would just be passive, right? Because that's, that's, that's an yep. established move. Yep. Okay, so I'll spend a hold to move uh, silently down the, uh, the, the staircase. Okay. Uh, to you guys, it looks kind of like I, I just tumble down the staircase. Like I sort of, I step down one step and then I shift forward a little bit too quickly, but there's no sound of, of tumbling, <laughs> right. crashing. Uh, <laughs> just sort of disappear down the circuit. All right, uh, scouting ahead, um, you going down the stairs, you start to see a, a light up ahead. Mm -hmm. cool. Like there's, a, like there's a, a passageway or a, a chamber um, opening up off, off of this stair. Okay. I have some questions, but I guess I'll go into some reality first. All right. <coughs> With a plus one, that's still a nine. That's a nine. Okay. <coughs> so I ask one question. Yep. Hmm. As I move cautiously towards that light, um, what here is not as it appears to be. Okay. I feel like what, um, okay, yeah. Yeah, uh, you, um, in, in crawling down carefully and in peering about, um, you, you start to smell a, a ratty kind of smell on the stairs uh, below where this chamber goes off. Smell a ratty smell? A ratty smell, yes. Like, well, like, I wonder know. where that's coming from, yeah. Um, huh. And uh, peering very, very carefully uh, past this, uh, in, in, out and into the, into the chamber itself, um, you see Phoenix and Adrian uh, looking and seeing, uh, wait, waiting for wait. waiting for you to come back. Wait, 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 wait. So I went down the stairs, and when I look over at the light, Phoenix and Adrian are there? Yep. On the, le the level below where they are? Yep. You went uh, down the stairs, and you see yeah. Phoenix and Adrian. Yep. Okay, I'm going to run back up the stairs. Okay. <laughs> uh... Back to, back to the level, back to the level that Phoenix and Adrian were on. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'm just gonna walk back up as a halfling with the stairs here, or I mean, I'm okay. run most of the way as a as a rat with that last few steps on the halfling, and okay. uh, and I uh, I'll, I'll just stand there and like look at them. They look the same, <laughs> right? They do. Yeah. Just waving me. Uh, all right, so I went down the stairs. There's a there's a hallway, 
<laughs> and there's a there's a light. But I saw you two standing there waiting for me to get there. Uh... On the next level down. So that's concerning. Magic weirdness, Adrian. Your job. <sighs> Seem seemed that way to me, but uh Right. Let's uh I have an idea. I hope I can make it work. No, I can't. Okay. Well, first off, Adrian, do you have any idea where that is? Because me. If it were an illusion, we might be able to break it. If it were some weird spatial anomaly. Hmm. I'm wondering about the uh, spirit plane. Where is the, the level? The whole entire level looked the same, like identical. It wasn't. Uh, different down there in any other way? Uh, what was the golem there? Uh, Cliff, you would you would have seen the golem, yeah. And the walls seemed more yeah. or less the same? So yeah. it was just like, is it not so just a copy of them, but a copy of the room? Huh. From where did you look into the room? Like, above it? As if... From, from right where I'm standing now. But a level lower. Is that correct? So if we look up, what do we see in the ceiling? <laughs> Physically in the room? Yeah. Um, a a uh, a semicircular arch ceiling. Um, it, nothing particularly special about about the ceiling. Just a smooth dome of a ceiling. Yep. Ah. Move its whole body away, like how out of view. Uh, yeah, the the rock, the rock tumbles out of sight. The snake follows it, and then when the snake's tail kind of disappears from view, um, the the rock goes quiet, and you can't see the snake anymore. Huh. Uh, I'm tempted to try it again, and this time chase the snake. <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> hmm. But I have a feeling maybe something like Fount of Knowledge or just a straight spout lore. Since I have uh, no do, idea. What this am is. I aware of like some kind of creature like this that can that can uh, create this weird sort of troll uh, loop trap? Uh, interesting. Um, Cliff, you could try to spout lore about that, and Adrian, you could call upon your fount of knowledge for this as well. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, fount of knowledge, given that I learned about this sort of thing at one point, but I don't know if I did. That's the problem. <clears throat> so I may not know about this creature specifically, but perhaps something simple, or maybe I do know. It's an 11. Wow. Okay, Ian. Uh, sorry, Cliff. Okay. Um, you have heard um, that there are very rare uh, species of snakes called uh, shadow dwellers uh, that make uh, burrows to to trap the trap prey into, um, and those burrows just kind of loop and loop and loop forever, um, and the the magic of the of the shadow snake itself um, imbues into their their burrows and um, makes that loop impossible to. Uh, to get out, um, and... Hey, 
I know this. I know this thing. I know what this is. Mm. Uh, let, let me talk to it from. Anybody got any uh, any meat? Is this thing like meat? Uh, yes. They are carnivorous. I. Uh, other than my rations. Yeah, what's in there? I, mean, I guess it's dry, but it's probably better than what this thing is getting. Well, yeah, I suppose uh, it's it's usable. I'll I'll go ahead and donate my uh, last ration out. Ah, uh, well, uh, if, if you make, if you make us aware of the fact that it's your last ration, then it's well for one that has because uh -huh. I have a bit more. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, I'll take that ration. I'll go over here and like kind of poke my head in a little bit. And, mm -hmm. uh, you're gonna, you're gonna like kind of set the, the action out. Uh, now. not quite yet. I'm gonna speak and I'm gonna say, Hey there, you made a nice home here, haven't you? You hungry? Sorry about that rock. Here, here's something a little nicer. I'm gonna set the dried. <laughs> meat on the step. It's a little dry. I am so very hungry, you will hear, hissing from from the shadows of the walls. If I, if I, uh, we're looking to go a little deeper into this structure, but, uh, I'm afraid your, your home here is a little bit of an obstacle for us. Is there, is there an easier way around? Uh, you will you will hear you will hear a hissing sound as if it's sinking. Um, I have heard there is another staircase down. Yeah. Or, hmm, do you like riddles, little, little warm creatures? No, oh, yeah, I like riddles. You never met a half one before. Lay it on me. <laughs> You ask a little first. Oh shit. Uh <laughs> let me let me open riddles.com. This will be good. Oh uh, <laughs> I can't talk, I use a rhyming tool, so <laughs> uh so, first you know, what happened to liking riddles? <laughs> Give him one from the Hobbit. Uh alright, alright, here we go, here we go. I went to riddles.com because they're usually like really, really bad. But this one's actually pretty good. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> you you know uh, I don't know how long you you've been here, but you're aware of uh, day and night, the cycle in the sky, sort of sun and moon, that kind of. Just long some... ago, yes. Uh, that's good. That's good. Well, I would like to ask you, what is light during the day, but heavy during the night? I actually know this one. I character. Do we just hear like him hissing at the end, <laughs> or does it? Do we I'm speaking. Hear? I'm speaking. Uh, I'll say I'm speaking halfway, but very softly. <laughs> and and then, it sort of yeah. resonates as the spiritual. This guy goes, "Oh, I know this one. I know it." <laughs> <laughs> it is rare that find someone who can speak my tongue. Um, you and me both are <laughs> not here. I imagine we're both pretty far from. Um, my screen froze. Uh -huh. Riddles.com, you killed my screen. You're not supposed to go to it <laughs> yourself. Yeah, it's cheap. <laughs> No, no, no. God. Oh, I, I, I remember. So I, I know about riddles.com from them, my brother, my brother, and me podcast, and they always pick like atrocious riddles <laughs> that make no sense at all. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm worried that I'm going to get one of those. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Well, hang on. First, I need to solve yours. <sighs> right, right, right. Light during the day, heavy at night. You'll hear hissing from the shadow as the snake thinks and thinks and thinks. <laughs> um, and then he will he will admit that he doesn't know what it is. Uh, that's all right. It's been a while. But, uh, Daylight, it's nightfall. What? Felix, you know. what what'd you say? <laughs> Daylight, nightfall. Uh, well, I'm afraid not. It's eyelids. It, it, you know, it's not the best one, but I think it's pretty good. But day falls at, uh, day has light and night falls. I suppose so. That's not day a bad light, answer. Night fall. No, your eyes feel heavy. Your, your eyes are light and then they're heavy. No. Snakes don't have eyelids, you silly <laughs> that's a, hobbits. That, that's a, not a, that's a good point. <laughs> well, you got one for me? Or is that or is that the end of it? Uh, I'm thinking. <laughs> you want me to give you one out of the car? Uh, uh Sure. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. What well, flies, crawls, heals, but never waits? Okay. You hear that hissing from from the shadows of the chamber. Can you say it again? Cliff. Can you type that? Oh, maybe you are. Oh, yes. What flies, crawls, heals, never waits. It's a new one. And it's a person that came up with one, actually. Me, me and my mates used to be well into riddles, so we used to try and chat on that, That's it. That's... This ain't some snake shit, right? I'm not gonna... This ain't like me, me talking about eyelids. Uh... <laughs> uh oh, who left? Uh... <clears throat> Give me more time to think. Yep. <laughs> Ooh. I'm trying to think of expressions. I'm guessing he tells the group, um, so yeah. that they can try and... Yeah, I would ask the snake, like, uh, if I defer to my... But I'll do it when I'm an answer that. Felix looks to Adrian, come on, don't they teach you riddles in like Magic 101 or something? <laughs> that was the course I failed. Uh, right, why am I not surprised you failed Magic 101? <laughs> uh, yeah. They have a hell of a uh, 
interesting dynamic between the two of them. <laughs> Sooner or later, Phoenix will just be fireball to death. Thank you, Drew. Hmm. Uh, thankfully, it hasn't happened yet. Yep. After that first so one, I'm like, be a non burny fiery. Yes. Whoa, he left a uh, full 22. He probably has oh. to reboot or something. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to use the bathroom. Sure. Take this opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect timing. You back, Sean? Maybe not. You back, Sean? Sorry, 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 guys. Yeah, I um, I had to I had to open up the command line to kill Chromium mm. because it was completely stalled. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, I. While I had that up, and I got disconnected from this board. Yep. Sorry about that. Not a problem. Hang on for a sec, though. You got my message through about the answer and that, I try. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, what was the, uh, what was the possible solution to the riddle, guys? Well, we're still contemplating it. And Adrian is completely Finally. at a loss. And I, I obviously don't feel right answering his feelings because, of course, I know the answer. I came up with the red one. It seems kind of cheating. So we'll assume this is one of the few occasions where Phoenix is actually stuck without an answer. But, or um, he's just decided that, to be petty because they didn't let him play the game last time and said his answer was wrong, but it clearly wasn't. He's he's got got into a half, which is probably more likely. <laughs> uh, Cliff, you can um, you can ask the riddle to like Adrian and ask uh, if she knows the answer. I mean, Cliff's it not. doesn't have to be. Cliff's AFK at the moment. Oh, yeah. Oh. He's away googling fran frantically. <laughs> no, if anybody asks me, I'll just shrug. But you're the wizard. Wizards are meant to be great for these things. I know. Way to let down your stereotype. Or, I guess maybe that is a good thing that you're fighting stereotypes. It's always difficult to tell with these things. <laughs> I would love to be more clever, but no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, I just quite genuinely enjoy riddles, and as I say, I've got a couple of mates who are similarly inclined, so we quite often come up with ones <laughs> and uh, put them against each other. I don't know if it necessarily makes us cleverer, because really I think it just makes us feel like smart horses when we're no. <laughs> It's certainly a fun way to kill an afternoon. Oh, yeah. Could always get them to spout lower and offer a hint based off of that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right, I'm back. What did I miss? Oh, well, thinking, still... I guess I missed a lot of, a lot of thinking, yeah. Uh, I've seen a lot of things that fly, <laughs> and uh, I've been a lot of things that crawl. And, I mean, uh, I don't know if I, if I know of anything that flies, crawls, heals, never waits. 
I mean, fog. No. Uh, I guess I guess a halfling druid would fit the bill, but I don't know that you would help. <laughs> You're standing around doing nothing at the minute, Phoenix points out. You're clearly yeah, waiting. Yeah, I suppose I am. And I'm, 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 I'm waiting for nothing, it would seem. So go ahead, lay it on me. Well, what's, what's the answer? Time. Oh, of course it fucking is. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it seems we're uh, even, evenly matched. Go. Oh. <laughs> That is okay. <laughs> so to clarify, time time flies when you're having fun. Time crawls when you're bored. Time heals all wounds, <laughs> but time waits for no one. That's yeah, really good. That's thank you. You got a lot of time. To think of think of good riddles up there in that hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it incredibly fitting for somebody that traps you in an eternity. Actually, to ask that as a riddle. <laughs> right, right. right. Uh, so wait, did Phoenix? I mean, the snake asked that riddle, really, right? Or did the Phoenix? Yeah, uh, we decided that Phoenix was in a huff with you guys for not letting him answer the riddle last time and telling him his answer was wrong when it clearly worked for the answer. So he he refused to take part eight this time, and I'll display a petty. <laughs> Um, the, uh, the, the snake shadowy head will emerge from the staircase and peer at you guys with, um, with, with its violet burning eyes, um, and kiss that, um, in, in common actually this time, um, that if you guys... He will, he will kind of come out and sort of sniff the, the each of you um, and say that if you if you donate all of your food, I will let you pass. <laughs> okay. Counter offer, Mr. Snake. And really nice to meet you, by the way. I've never met a snake that can control time. That is amazing. Um, we give you Two more bits of food, and you can have all the food you find in the rest of this place when you come with us. Got to think about it. There's got to be what dozens, if not hundreds, of people here. You can eat them. You can eat their food. That's really got to be a lot better if you just come with us, and you can have any food you come across, as well as the two bits we give you. If I may add, you know, we had to get here somewhere. I don't know how you got here. If you don't want to be here forever, you might want to come with us. We can take you to Earth. We can take you take you back to land. Yep. That's, That's got to be very want. lonely here. Not had a good riddle in ages. We can give you lots of... <laughs> Anyone else having flashbacks to a certain dragon? Uh -huh. Nope. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We faced a dragon at one point that was meant to just be like on a murderous rampage determined to kill us and basically we did this exact same thing and went, sure you could kill us, but think about it, wouldn't it be better to join us? And then we actually sold them on the idea. So, yeah, recruiting weird monsters is, again, it just happened to us. Uh, make sure you do that next time we find a dragon so I can put that on my skin too. <laughs> Yeah, sadly the dragon did end up betraying us horribly, but, you know, we, we we got a dragon that could turn invisible and spew poison for a good couple of sessions. It was amazing. Uh, the, the snake is going to be... Um, uh, the snake is, is not going to be interested in actually leaving... Uh, where he is right now. He's mm. quite comfortable. Uh, she's quite comfortable. Uh, except here. that she's hungry. And, yeah. Yes, except that she's, she's hungry. Um, hey, now, I have uh, an idea. Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I just had an idea for how to get more food, but, but uh, <clears throat> uh, I was going to suggest 
there's up over here we know that there's a, a body that the snake can't get to but I might be able to oh yeah the lots and lots of flattened people up there <laughs> yeah <laughs> no nothing ethically wrong with that from your perspective there Claire. hey you, you know we're, we're all comes down to it I and many other gods strongly disagree. <laughs> so yeah, I'd bring that up if that's uh, can bring uh, the, plenty more the, food than what's in our packs. Sure, sure, and fresher too. Uh, hmm. The uh, the purple tongue of the of the snake will flicker over its chops, um, and it will say, "Sure, that would be very agreeable if it had some." fresh meat to feast on besides you guys, obviously. And if there's room in your lair, I might come and, uh, if it's all right with you, come have a visit and have a meal. I haven't dined with a, such an impressive beast as yourself in quite a while. <laughs> I'm, basically asking to, to, I'm basically asking to come up and study well, its essence. Well, well, Phoenix grabs Clef before he steps out. Uh, I think you're forgetting something, little guy. Good, good point, good point. Uh, I'm going to pop my head out and see the, the thing if it rolls back. Yeah, no, if that boulder comes down, the golem can't push it up. We're trapped here. That's a... Oof. Damn. Yeah. But he did crash out of his little alcove. Would the boulder fall into his alcove and then we'd be okay? That's a good question. I mean, we're going to have to deal with it one way or the other. Now or later. Uh, if you guys wanted to make sure, uh, I... you could try and, like, uh, you know, chip away the the stone of the of mm. the false wall there and kind of make sure that the boulder could crash into that space. I still i am wondering, is this snake's propensity for creating a burrow to create these kinds of traps, or can she possibly, like, create a burrow that could get around this thing? Ah, so you're wondering if perhaps if we go down the stairs, we could end up arriving, say, over here. That's clever. Like a portal snake or something. That's, yeah, that's clever. Maybe... I, I wouldn't want to push our luck too much, but but comes to that, that's not a bit. I mean, if I have enough time, I could re-prepare my spells and try out this new shadow step, which lets me portal anywhere, or portal anybody Ooh. anywhere. <clears throat> as long as I come up with a series of, like, <laughs> eight words, which I'm not great at doing. Alright, well, I'm gonna poke my head out here and then wait for the thing to roll. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the uh, the boulder uh, does not move if you step there. Doesn't? Nope. Uh -huh. When the boulder rolled, did it occupy the entirety of this space, or were there gaps on like the sides and, and the roof? Uh, it it fills pretty much the whole length, the whole width of the uh, of the hallway. Uh -huh. Could say something small uh, 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 press against the, 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 the ceiling or, or, or such and, and potentially be avoided? Good question. There is a... There is a small uh, space at the top of the, of the cylinder, essentially, um, mm -hmm. between the cylinder and the, and the ceiling that something small could squeeze through. Like, like up at the, near the top, near this end of the... Yeah, at, at, huh. the, at the boulder itself, yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe maybe that first plan was better, of, of clearing this area out, now that I know that we can stand here and not call down the boulder. Uh, I'm in a wild shape, or not wild shape, it's not wild shape, it's, it's not D&D. &D. I'm going to turn into... A, uh, a big. I, mean, I, I want to like uh, 
make myself seem somewhat like this golem, but but like the stone of this area, if that's if that's possible, and begin to just sort of crush and push this uh, ledge down so that it's more of a slope. Just pulverize okay. if I'm able. Okay. Uh, let me open that move. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, Cliff. Uh, yeah, you, um... You guys see the, 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 the golem is back over here? Mm-hmm. And is, is smashing <laughs> this area. Mm-hmm. Okay. Go ahead and... Go ahead and make uh, a couple hack and slashes as you okay. fumble the stones and uh, try to open up that. Mm. I'd also be happy to spend a hold for this, or maybe that's both. Yeah. Maybe this is spending a hold. Uh, okay. And slash. I still have a minus one, by the way. It's a couple. Uh, you know, what do you, what, 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 what do you want? Uh, one more. Okay. All right. Okay, so that's for my three hold. Oh. Yeah, that is... That is going to... Let's see. Um, the one failure there... Um, let's see. Uh, that will end... That will use up one of your hold. Um, so you're, you're down to... You're down to one hold as far as the swarm goes. But okay. you have managed to... Uh, to, to open up that... that doorway, that passage, um, mm. enough. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to march up here. Still a big golem. Mm, I should have ethereal Do-do. tethered him. You can mm. yank him back. Do-do. Do-do. And at, when you, when you cross the point level with the door, the, yeah. the boulder is going to suddenly start, uh, all right. I want to brace and try to slowly bring it back to its rest in place and step out into this hallway and let it roll back into here. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. Mind, the plan was just to let it roll right down. If you stand in front of that, you will get crushed. The golem never took a hit from it. Uh, but the golem, the golem pushed it back, though. It's not rolling that far before it hits me. Make right. strength five danger. Okay. Uh, strength, Jesus Christ! I'm not just spending a hold for this. This is. Right. Yeah, this is this is a. Hey. Hey. Wow. Lucky. Okay, you managed to grip it, and and brace yourself enough to to stop it from from rolling. Good job. Now you want to just bring it back slowly and carefully. Yeah. And I wanna, I wanna not trap myself in the alcove. I'd like to step to the side here and just let it go the rest of the way. All right. Uh, yeah. Keeping okay, in mind that the golem down. did crash into this room over here, and so there's a golem-sized hole that you can definitely fit through. Right. And uh, of course, even if I couldn't, I, I, I'd be able to turn back and do a half one. Mm-hmm. I guess if I'm using my last hold, then that's what happens anyway. All right. Uh, that plan uh, absolutely succeeds. Uh, you manage to guide the stone down carefully, and at the last moment, uh, it out of the way, and the stone itself <coughs> will slide beautifully into the alcove where the where the golem used to be. Cool. I'm gonna run out over here, and uh, now that I've got a little bit of extra time, and I'll I'll, I'll say like I think it's safe now. I'm gonna, mm-hmm. I'm gonna examine the bodies for useful uh, things, mm-hmm. starting with this one. Okay. Um. Let's see. Uh, you previously got a a tattered and bloodstained uh, notebook slash yes. journal. 
Oh, yeah, I don't know what else to add that. Um, I'm, I'm adding adding notes to that. Um, um, by the way, how does that, how much does that weigh? Is that zero weight or one? Uh, that is one weight. Oh. Heavy. Um, let's see. These guys have, um, have very mangled, uh, plate mail on that has been crushed pretty flat. Um, yeah. It's useful as metal, but not pretty much as armor anymore. Yeah. Um, uh, the they do have they do have um, a a short sword and a and a long sword on them. Take that short sword. Yep. Um. <laughs> Anybody need a long sword? I imagine you're all outfitted. I just I mean, wasn't quite. I didn't have time to pack. I mean, maybe we I can. I squeak my spooky toy. <laughs> uh, never needed a sword before my life. <laughs> Technically true. The very first day of the campaign, I, as soon as we got back to civilization, I sold my hand weapon and never looked back. <laughs> <laughs> what is the state of the golem? The actual golem. Um, the golem, uh, the golem itself is, um, very slowly and laboriously kind of crawling from piece to piece and kind of putting itself slowly back together again. Okay. Can I assess that with my little ray? Uh, sure, Phoenix. With another golem present, it seems to me that I am meant to encourage healing and rejuvenation. Golem, I say, rise above your stage. We give unto you a new purpose. Freed from habeas corpus, serve us. That's very nice. Thank you. Never thought I'd be able to use ha habeas corpus in uh, uh, any context, but particularly <laughs> in the context of wordplay and a role-playing game. So, there okay. you go. Let's hit him with the arcane arms. Ah, oh, damn, I thought short swords were, were precise. That's a... Maybe, 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 maybe somebody on the ship will be able to touch it up. We'll see. <laughs> uh, mind is shaking clear of one enchantment, i.e. that this is your purpose, you only exist to shift that stone back and forth all the time and so if that's all right and i'm hoping he'll be grateful okay the golem is uh <laughs> with, without a without a purpose hmm. now uh, <laughs> he just the golem <laughs> the golem repairs itself and then um, just sort of stands there pondering what his purpose is. Hi, Golem. We haven't met before, but I'm Phoenix. And you seem like a mechanical construct in need of purpose in life, shall we say. And 13 boy heals, by the way, for the. Uh... Oh, and he gets to plus two forward to damage, and they, if he decides to punch me for this. I uh, uh, as you as you sing, Phoenix, the random parts will drag themselves over to the golem, and screws will fix themselves into place. Uh, <laughs> it makes me want to rewatch the Iron Giant a long time. I know, I know, yeah, it does. Or AI, or The Matrix, or basically any of these big robot movies. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, Phoenix doesn't sing, yep. Mostly because I am tone deaf, and if I ever actually had to sing for this, these guys would drop me, <laughs> so... <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Um, the iron golem uh, will will remember vaguely what it was supposed to originally do. Uh, it will wander out this way. See that its its little alcove is now filled with the with the boulder, uh, and then it will it will kind of heave a heave a, a metallic sigh and um, kind of listlessly just sort of follow you guys. Not that you have any real control over it, but yeah. it's just kind of. I just kind of pat it on the shoulder, tough luck, big guy, but, you know, grass is always greener, or the metal is always shinier on the other side. <laughs> Look for that uh, the, silver the, the, lining. The golem, the golem doesn't quite have the, uh, the, the facial expressions to, uh, to appreciate that comment. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. But, you, you know, Phoenix, he, he mostly talks for his own amusement rather than for <laughs> anything else. And to hear the sound of his own voice. So, there we go. Plus, I kind of need to distract myself from the fa fact that we're about to feed corpses to a freaking <laughs> snake entity. Uh, so I need to do that. Cliff, um, you're still sifting corpses? Well, I'll search this one, yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, while I'm searching, I'll just, just, just whisper to him. What is this, bottom? This, this creature? That looks to be a, a human, from, from what you can tell from the mangled remains. Uh, I'll just whisper, sorry, you won't, you won't be needing this anymore. Uh, <laughs> you know, nothing to, uh, uh, uh among, among the, the, uh, the smushed remains of, of this creature, of this human, um, you find in a pouch a, uh, a, 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 a like a quartz crystal that when you pull it out, it starts to glow with a, with an intense bright light. I'll set it down on the stone really quick. Um, and among the other possessions that this guy has, they're really too mangled and uh, squished to uh, to be of use. Mm -hmm. I'll watch that crystal for a moment, then pick it up, and uh, jump down here and say, you can give me a hand with these bodies? Yeah, oh. yeah. Hmm. Ah. Bear man, say hello to Metal Man. He's searching hello. for truth in this life. Phoenix, Phoenix, you could have said Iron Man. No, he... I, I, I'm sorry, I am genuinely disappointed in myself. <laughs> Oh, that was a shocking, shocking uh, lapse. <laughs> I didn't even go to Tin Man either. Oh, so much wasted opportunity. Yeah, well, uh, uh, with some help, I'll try to unmask these, these two bodies. Are... Yep. Now, now, a question about my studied essence. I hope I. It doesn't necessarily say like how much time I have to spend with a creature or that I have to spend much time with them at all. I have to spend time in contemplation of an animal spirit. So with this time and the conversation that I've had with this creature, if I later uh, choose to put down, you know, preserve its spirit in my flesh, get a, basically get a snake tattoo, is that enough? Uh, time spent in contemplation of the animal spirit. Yep, and, and I would say that contemplation uh, uh, is also sort of spent on actually designing and applying the tattoo as well. Okay. So, yeah. Would I you would say, say, and this is also a question for later, 
and I would happily accept a negative on this one, but is being poisoned by a spider a close enough encounter to, to ink that one as well? Um, no. Okay. No. Oh, you, 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 you do have to spend some time and okay. find out, like, the Would policy you say of the spider. Yeah. Either, like, talk to or kill something would be a, a, a good rule of thumb. Like, those are two ways that I could get close enough contact with. Like, I kill it and, like, root through its guts a little bit. Or one thing I had considered was burning the body of a creature and creating an ink out of the charcoal and its burnt remains. Uh, but I, 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 I scrapped that one early on because I was like, I don't want to have to kill an animal to, to shape mm -hmm. into it, but mm -hmm. maybe that's a way. Yeah, I think, let's see, I think, like, talking to an animal or, like, uh, sort of seeing it in its natural habitat. Um, <gasps> maybe if I eat it. I don't know. Oh, go on. <laughs> uh, I guess if you want to be a gourmand. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I guess we can get to it when we can cross those bridges when we come to. Sure. Uh, okay. The the shadow snake will will drag one of these one of these corpses uh, down to it. It's lair. Um, and you'll hear the, the crunching of, of bones as it snacks on the, on the meat. Um, and it will slither a little ways back out, um, and say that it will, it will let you guys pass down the stairs if you want. Oh, okay. Excellent. Whilst walking, can I uh, have this conversation with the skull that I've been carrying around? Yes, yes, I'm, I, I saw that in the chat and then other stuff was happening. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. I, I think the uh, Eternity State would, probably took the uh, precedence given its importance. So, plus, as I say, it's more something I can do whilst walking, it's chat to the spirit. Yep. Uh, sure, yeah, uh, what do you want it, the, the skull, uh, uh, comes, comes to life with, uh, with, uh, whoever was, whoever's, uh, spirit was in possession with the skull before, um, and, uh, dead glowing eyes will look at you, Phoenix. Okay, um... It's just any three questions, isn't it? It's not limited by... No. Nope. Okay. Um... Tell me all you can about the person who enchanted you to patrol the halls. Uh, that's not a question. <laughs> No, that's not a question, that's very fair. Um, uh, so. What do you know about the person who um, created you to uh, patrol these halls? Sorry. Me? I didn't control anything. Uh, I never said you did. I said, what do you know about the person who did? Uh, I believe the word was petrol, not control. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, it, it was. Uh, what, what can you tell me about the person who uh, made you, created you to patrol the halls? Um, I was, I was one of the unfortunate souls who many, many years ago tried to, uh, for, for thrill and because it was a legendary place, tried
tried to assault this uh, this this lair when it was when it was once uh, on a far flung world. Um, I was one of the one of the traps uh, was my demise, and so um, in uh, in retribution for uh, trying to get into this place, um, my my spirit was captured and my skull was just placed in the in the ooze there to to rot away. My my legs are somewhere around here. Have you seen my legs? I think I might have. We'll bury them with you. Unless oh. she just ate them. <laughs> no, those are uh, it's the other legs. You know, back in the weird primordial lose thing. Oh. But I mean, I remember an upper body looking for some legs, but I don't know if we saw legs. Yeah. One second, legs is as good as any other. <laughs> uh, I'd like to get out of this little. Oh, well, actually, yeah, you're in the middle of questions. Um, so, not much then about the lich. Uh, okay. Sec uh, secondly, if I could ask you, just whilst we're walking along, um, what other defences, traps, and surprises uh, await us down here? <laughs> All the way to the... I can't remember <laughs> what floor it was. Unfortunately, I was slain quite early on. What what level are we on? One. Two, One. if you oh. want to count the slanted stone rolly hallway. Uh, that, that's the same level. Okay. Um, then uh, the, the skull will say that he was... He was slain by um, by statues that uh, came alive as they walked down the down the corridor, um, and he was stabbed through the chest by a by one of the spears that the statues were uh, stabbing at the at the party as they went down. Uh, he uh, he wished that he knew. Uh, knew whatever whatever mechanism would stop their statues from uh, attacking but okay. he was slain before then that was when you were alive yes what about when you were dead when you were patrolling oh Nothing I have most I have mostly been patrolling on on this level, I can tell you that there is a there is a shadow snake on the stairs that will try and eat people. There is hordes of undead in oh, sealed, he's not off, so bad. sealed off catacombs, uh, and there is um, a pit of acid that uh, you have to raise and lower um, various uh, walkways to to get by. Um, there's a few other monsters, but... Uh... Oh, and there's that big rolling stone. Rolling stone. Yeah, yeah we, we know. Okay. Um, any and the questions you guys want to Looks to Clough and Adrian. Hmm? Say again. Any, Any questions, questions you guys yourself? think of? Uh, well, not, no. By the sound of it, it doesn't look like he went anywhere after he died. He was just patrol this tiny little hallway 
back and forth, back and forth. The person who assigned you to this task. Uh, anything about them you remember? I know that was uh, kind of your first question. Yeah, that was my first question, and he didn't. If he if he doesn't answer it, it means he he can't give information. I'm guessing. Uh, okay. Is is that accurate? Yeah, Sean. <laughs> That's a fair assumption, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, uh, withhold questions. Okay. Um, I guess we'll keep it simple for the last one before we let you go go on. And uh, don't worry, as I say, we'll do our best to try and bury the bodies. Circumstances permitting. I don't know how much this station will still be left when we're finished. Um, Any way to counter the undead magics that anyone has used since coming here that you may have noticed? Is there? Um. In terms of... Uh, blah, 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 blah. I, I guess, to clarify out of character, I'm wondering if, obviously, he's been undead controlled. A lot of the things around here are undead. Um, has he noticed anyone that's had particular success in playing this or that tactic that seems to prevent the lich getting too much control? Or has it pretty much just been a case of everyone's been steamwalled? Oh, OK. <coughs> Um, he doesn't know that, but he does know that there is um, a, a room deep, deep in this lair that has, um, has soul gems in it that, that contain all of, the, all of the various souls from fallen adventurers and heroes. I'll pull out that little, that little glowing gem. Is this one of them? Mm. Ooh. You can do a spout lore and try and find out. Oh, okay. Sure. I was going to ask the wizard, too. Uh, but, uh, I, can enter, I can aid on that. But... Okay. Sure, go ahead. Eh. <laughs> I, can, I, I, I have books as well, so if you do the aid, I can lend a book. <laughs> my aid somehow, is some way just... My aid is not doing anything. Phoenix hits you both over the head with the book. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you as you examine the the jet the gem closely, um, uh. Um, it, it slips from your grasp and uh, will shatter on the floor. The light inside Shit. of it will go out. <laughs> I hope that wasn't a soul yeah. or something. Yeah. Let's all hope that wasn't a soul. If it was, no. can my demon eye open up and like suck it in and consume uh, it? What? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's just uh, that's what the squeaky toy. No, no salt soul of our room. Bad Adrian. Okay, speak. <laughs> uh, uh, of crystal when you need it. Okay. Um sounds like we now good, have a dual good, priority. Maybe, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe maybe it's free. Uh -huh. Let's not shatter all of them in the off chance it works. <laughs> yeah. Come up with a proper plan, but we do need to free them. Let's add that to. That's probably priority one for. No, actually, everyone dies below. Dual pri double priority one. We need to stop this place and we need to free everybody that's here because we can't just leave them to suffer for all eternity. That's kind of cruel. Mm -hmm. All right, I guess we better be advancing. Agreed. All right. Yeah, so I guess we've kind of already passed down the staircase, but... 
Aye. I imagine we slowed up as we realised there was a soul prison yeah. essentially on here and started discussing it. You pulled out your gemstone, shattered it horribly, etc. <laughs> Presumably Adrian pushed you because our leader yes. was clearly interfered. Yeah, so let me, let me try. With the book. No, I'm like reaching in. Oh, I know what those are. Fumble, fumble. <laughs> There's you know, something you should never shout or... <laughs> They're oh. demon presents! Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, one second, guys. I need to bring over the, uh, the second level here. Yep, cool. I love how in an entire session's worth of, uh, time, pretty much, uh, we've basically not moved. Yeah, yeah, I just realized that too. We were capped, about to go down here last time. We finally <laughs> got him down the stairs. We shifted about 30 feet. Go on. Well, At this someone... rate, we should um, have free, destroyed the Death Star by the time of the Force Awakens. Yeah. So I'm, sure it's still, I'm sh sure it's still around by then. We'll be, we'll be it. <laughs> well, just as long as we're not taking up so much in-game time that the planet below is also destroyed and taken over. No, I, I think this all happened over the course of the night, which we kind of did to recover. Right. In, um, in the meantime, um, Cliff, um, yes. you can take a look and I'm, I'm it's going to be a minute or two before I can get the, the level to where you guys can see it. Um, but in the meantime, you guys can look over what we have of the of the tattered and bloodstained notebook. Yes, I was actually going to bring that up, uh, but I thought it was maybe a weird time, so I said, yes, that's great that you can see it. So um, you, uh, you guys should be able to see that in the <laughs> handouts now. Right. Yeah. Such notes as have survived about this terrible place are scant. What little we know ahead of time has come from a time centuries ago, in the which Vecca established a lair on a far flung world. This world has been the home to the dread that dread lich long before the lair was the target of many foolish adventurers and treasure hunters until that world blew up in a horrible cataclysm. It was presumed that the lair was likewise crumbled to dust, but our diviners have confirmed that the colossal fragment of rock out there is oh, out there in the void, blocking the sun, is indeed the witch's lair. Beware the pool of treasure. Good, good note. Hail the queen. Do not fear your grave. Parts of Orion are scattered in the second level. Ooh, what right? That really sounds like Phoenix's kind of game. Like if you got a hold of it, you could mm, use it somehow? No, he just likes rides. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, sure, technically if it was a word of power or something, a bard would be the person you wanted to say it. Yeah. But really, he just wants to make words sounds funny and clear enough, so, yeah. That's it. Just rings. And if he gets to go ring the ring a rosy and everything blows up, so much the better. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that was all about Black Death anyway, so it's a pretty serious rhyme all in all. Yeah. I'll find an empty page in a notebook and just draw a little snake. Just practice. The legs are weird. The legs of the snake? Yeah, I don't think they're meant to have any. I didn't give them legs. That's that, that's 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 hair. It's detail. It's just it's... right. <laughs> <laughs> don't fucking tell me what a snake looks like. I could eat you as I could turn into a snake and eat you. Like, shit. Phoenix just kind of raises an eyebrow at that. <laughs> It wasn't great, I don't know. 
did, did you? Like, I'm sure we went through the introductions before and I explained about my amazing badassery to you. Do you really think a snake is going to be what brings me down? <laughs> Two sessions later, he gets eaten by a basilisk. Yeah, yeah. He says that in the in the in the shadow snake's lair and gets eaten. I ain't afraid of no ghost snake thing. We are on different screen, Sean, but it's entirely black. Yes, thank you for pointing that out. Uh, no worries, man. I just know it's kind of tricky to work out what the players are seeing compared to the GM. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who does? <clears throat> push the off and down the stairs first. <laughs> and apparently someone threw a wall? Me threw a wall. Yeah, that sounds fair, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, You've you got guys Mr. Just... Uh, Mr. Iron Man because I'm not wasting that opportunity now. <laughs> Yeah, the golem's gonna follow you down. Hang on, let me get the golem. We hear a crashing. We all plaster ourselves against the wall, and suddenly just the stairs collapses. <laughs> the golem picks himself up from his crumpled heap. It's okay. Part of uh, finding a new place in life is uh, getting up when you fall down. It's an important life lesson. Hopefully we can get back up. Uh, I'm sure we have grappling hooks or something in our packs. No, I'm imagining we outfit the golem with, like, rocket boots and stuff. <laughs> Actually turning it into iron map. <laughs> right. Exactly. That makes sense. Well, we should probably be pressing on. Nick says uh, drawing his squeaky toy and uh, preparing to step. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll light the end of my staff to make sure we can actually see things. Is there any way to shift where the macro bar is? Because I can't actually move my character because I keep clicking on the. Right, never mind, I've just shifted. I've just oh, zoomed out. Um, let's, let's, I'm alright. I'm alright. You okay? Yeah, I just zoomed out further and kind okay, of corrected it that way. Uh, a light spell, which is a cast spell, which, yeah, okay. Did it succeed? It did. It succeeded. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Excellently. Who, who's in the front? Me, squeaky toy in the hand. Okay. Actually, Except for honestly, it should probably be the golem. Right, right, He's right. still kind of recovering from a midlife crisis, so I suggest he, he can't say something weird. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'll be behind. Uh, Right, yeah. I guess the best. Okay, guys. Mm -hmm. Anything interesting in this room? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I'm just thinking we can actually, with the party of four, we can actually sing the wizard. We're off to see the wizard. Because the golem needs a heart, uh... and... <laughs> <laughs> so who's uh, the lying scarecrow and Dorothy in this analogy? Well, I mean, that could be Dorothy, just because. I think I'm Dorothy, actually. Like I'm okay. the, I'm the, I'm like the audience surrogate. I'm the the one who's just made it to this right. strange new world. All right. Yeah. And I'm also Toto if I decide to be. <laughs> right. <laughs> I definitely think Adrian should be the light. Um, I can oh be no, the, it was the thingy yeah. that needs a heart. It's either a brain or courage. And then, uh, <laughs> your, your brain. Hands down brain. Yeah. Yes. 
have to have a brain or need a brain? Need, need oh. a brain. <laughs> oh. How can how can I get need a brain? She's a wizard. She casts fireball on people. Well, she you're supposed to cast it on people, people though. Yeah, but I didn't think about the fact that I was also in the room with them. Uh, yeah, or the fact they were unarmed civilians. Mm -hmm. That too. This is a story. <laughs> <I don't... laughs> It was Which a, means I'm yeah. what? I, I need courage. That yeah. probably sounds about right, given my response to a fight is I'll talk my way out of it or hide. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> okay. As as Adrian's, this room is otherwise bare except for a a doorway across the way. Um, but as Adrian's uh, lit staff comes in, these uh, shadows start to emerge from the cracks in the wall. And advance towards. Uh, I assume this door is open, and we can uh, see all. That of door them. is, yes. The close one is open. Oh, that one. That one is closed. What about this one? That one is open to your touch. Okay. What's this again? Was, uh, yeah, it was off screen, so I need to. Uh, shadows have started forming, <laughs> moving towards us. Between us and the doorway, essentially. Uh, are you? Is your staff acting up again? Is it? I don't think so. Uh, towards, towards Adrian. Sorry. What about? Wait, the shadows are going for Adrian. The shadows are going for Adrian. Okay, uh, I carry on and leave her. Okay. <laughs> That's. Yeah, I'm gonna back. Adrian's up. got the light. Yeah, you've got the light. <laughs> Oh, I probably had. Okay. I probably uh, wouldn't dim it because if you do, then the shadows are everywhere, and uh, true. yeah, that does, does that well. Yeah, I'll keep it lit. Maybe come back and in. Honestly, just leave the, sh the shadows elsewhere. <laughs> like leave them. Up. Oh, you could try and see if the snake wants to try and eat shadow. <laughs> Go ahead, Cliff. I push you forward. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. They're, they seem to be following me. I'll try to lead them off to something. Yeah, Phoenix and Cliff, you're in the dark with rustling shadows all around you. Um, Adrian's light isn't doing much. Like even if I, I point it down the hallway and try to flashlights shine it through. You're drawing them away from, let's see, Phoenix is in the weed. You're drawing them away from Phoenix, um, but Cliff is kind of in, in the path. As... In the path, okay. That's yeah. not good. I'll grab you and drag you back out to the oh, stairwell. No. Yep. Oh, okay, all right, I'm coming, I'm coming. No, they... Mm, <laughs> got, got a plan. I tried to leave the store. Is it openable? Yes. I open it. What am I seeing beyond there? Okay, it opens. Oh, sorry, which door, Phoenix? What I'm standing at. Oh. Yep. Uh, that one opens as well. <laughs> and you go through? Uh, what do I see beyond there? Uh, a longer passageway um, ending at a T junction. Okay, yeah, I start walking along till I'm at the T junction, and then I get out a torch to light it. Not lighting it yet, but kind of just getting it out ready. Me trying gesturing towards Adrian so she can see the torch. Hopefully, mm -hmm. get the plan. Can I see it when there are shadows um, in between? Um, there are shadows. The shadows are um, they are kind of pools of of blackness that yeah. are kind of crawling along the floor. Oh, along um, the floor. You can see so. over them. You can see over them just fine. Okay. Um, Let me. I can see. I can basically 
shine my light, see the floor, like I'm seeing them right now, I assume. Yes. So I would like to attempt to maybe pole vault over them. Uh, if that's possible. Phoenix jo just drops his the torch he was about to light, drawing the shadows away from you guys, and just holds his head in his hands. Hey, if it works, you see it soon. Uh, oh, Adrian, Adrian, mm -hmm. you do remember your 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 attempts at, at doing physical activities before, right? Uh, no. Are we but, all negative strength? I think I'm uh, at what? zero strength. But... Okay, so I have to start with all negative strength. <laughs> we had okay. a fighter, but he left. Yeah. Right. <laughs> have you left him? Do, uh, just before I decide on this, do I notice that the shadows are now following Phoenix due to the light source? Uh, I don't think Phoenix has lit the torch yet. Yeah, oh. No, I, I was waving it to you guys to kind oh, of get your attention. Just the unburned. Kind of going, yeah. you know, about to light this, get okay. yours off, we can, you know, distract them, get them away from these guys, that sort of thing. Oh. I thought you were just motioning to us that hey, there's a there's more hallways down here. <laughs> that, that is my bad, actually. I did not explain that properly. But yeah, as soon as it looks like you're about to tense or run up for a pole job, pole walk, he will absolutely yell back <laughs> to explain. No, no, I have to light the torch. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. And I'll back back out. And watching carefully, I will extinguish mine. As I light my... Yeah. Sure. Alright. Um... Phoenix, did you close that door you just came through? Nope. Uh, okay. The light from the, tor from the torch that you just light, what lit, will, uh, will attract the uh, the shadows they come yep. for you. That's fine. I start stepping down uh, this path here. Kind of waving to the guys. All right, just follow after the shadows. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think we're okay yeah, now. I yeah, whisper back. Fall down. All right, you coming, R Rusty? <laughs> I can still see the light from around the corner there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. alright. Come on, hurry up, I'm gonna drive. Talking to this. Oh, he has a name. Excellent. <laughs> See? He's already beginning to find this new identity. I'm so proud. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Phoenix, as you walk down this corridor, with your lit torch, the shadows following behind you. You see that there is alcoves with statues that are standing here with long spears. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, as soon as I see any of those, I'm going the other way. Because <laughs> obviously we just had the one and we just didn't reveal it. The second I see a statue, I'm noping right back up to the other way. And here I'm just in this room. Come on, shadows. Get the line moving here. Okay, Phoenix. Uh, you are in a room with a statue of a of a a regally dressed figure. Um, and shadows coming. What are shadows? Shadows. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> the snake is Rea reality really distorts growing. around you for a second. We find ourselves at the top of a staircase. No. 
Phoenix, exactly. you should you should uh, since you've hit level ten, you should you should uh, start leveling into ranger, and Rusty is your animal companion. <laughs> oh, I'm clearly a technomancer from uh, bio, uh, <laughs> Borderlands. All right, Phoenix, you are cornered by the shadows now. Yeah, I just tossed toss my torch down this uh, evil... down this way, just over the top. Okay. Okay, the um, the shadows will, will be attracted to that. They will move down this corridor here while the torch is, is burning. <sighs> Am I... Well, mm, am I able to actually get the angles right so that they can step past and I can toss the torch down where they ch were before? But, uh, I think your best bet is going to be to toss it where you did down this corridor yeah, and then have okay. them... I'll knock off the... Yeah. What happens to the torch? I'll come up and round the corner, glancing over on either side to mm -hmm. see what happens. Uh, yeah, um, you see the torch flicker and flicker, and then uh, it will eventually go out, leaving you in darkness. Eventually, yeah. meaning there's enough time to actually crowd in. Into that room there? Yeah, you yeah. could. Okay. There's another time. Yeah. All right. uh, can I do two things quickly? Um, mm -hmm. First, want to be looking around, examining closely, trying to work out where um, the switch that you mentioned for deactivating them was. Also, kind of asking Cliff or Adrian, keep an eye on the torch mm -hmm. and the shadows, and especially those statues, see if any of them start attacking the shadows or the torch. Mm -hmm. The statues react in any way to something being tossed down that corridor. Right. Yeah. Oh, so um, yeah, I'm get, I think we just assume Rusty's with us. Yeah, what's up with Rusty? Rusty is following sadly behind you, Gordon. Oh, digitation. Oh, um, somehow try to get him back on the ship and help him out. We're going to take him to like the best robot brothel <laughs> in history and just yeah. really get his well. thoughts back up, you know, for a proper for, for a proper party for the guy. Finest machine oil money can buy. He needs okay. therapy, but that, I suppose that doesn't hurt. <laughs> Who has it's time for therapy when you can get your robot fetishes? I mean, an immortal robot with. You know, no purpose to my probably has time. <laughs> a, a, a robot with no purpose in life would be great at a tavern. As yeah, like the local see? drunk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. More oil. Um, okay. Uh this the closest statue to the flung porch will um will with a with a groan of stone and joints, will grab his spear and stab at the torch. Um, the torch will sputter with sparks. Um, uh, and then the statue, seeing no more movement, will retreat back into its resting position. Uh, the shadows themselves are not going to cause the, uh, the statues to react. Okay. Um, for my quick examination, I want to, uh, obviously, bear in mind what I'm looking for here is a way to stop the statues from stabbing things that go down there. What here is useful or valuable to me? <coughs> The the statue of the queen has a a haughty 
sneering sort of expression on her face. Um, and her eyes, her eyes, maybe out of the corner of your eye, seem to be following you, but whenever you look at her uh, head on, um, you can't see that her eyes have moved. I'm going to tie a scarf around her eyes. Try to what? I'm going to tie a scarf around her eyes so she can't see. I am not going to laugh at that move. Impressive. That seems very, that seems very uh, smart. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was ridiculous, but okay. <laughs> you um... You know that big box of disguises I have? Well, the like, big selection of disguises and gear that I run around everywhere yeah. and like have never used once except from like, that one alter ego I have. I, I just get a scarf out of that lot of fabrics and just tie it around her ass. I looked into your kit. No peeking. No, I do totally am trying to peek to see if you've got a collection of clown noses because I did have an idea. I, I totally do have a collection of clown noses, but I was talking to the statue when I said no peeking. Oh, oh, oh. okay. <laughs> the, um, the torch will go out finally, and in the darkness you will hear very faint rustlings as uh, the shadows um, as the shadows move around um, and Presumably, uh, go go back to their little their sort little of room here. Yeah, I was going to say, do we like hear them rustle past us to go back to their room over here? You can make another discern reality to make sure, but you presume that that's what the sound is. Okay. I have half an idea getting down here, but I don't know. I might be able to turn into one. Yeah. My thought is to send Rusty down in front of us and just. Oh, I heard Rusty. Take the. Yeah, I know. But I have my other idea too. We're from a different level, so they might not recognize us. I guess the one that makes most sense is uh, what happened here recently. I did they go back? Okay. Uh, yes, the shadows have gone back to surround the room where you guys first encountered them. Okay. I'm gonna creep along to this door. Kind of hands on the wall the entire time so I don't get lost and cl close the door. Okay. And then sneak back. Right. Um, as you as you do that, Phoenix, um, do you the the door closed? Okay. Um, you, as you kind of make your way um, down that way, you notice that carved. Um, above the above the lintel of the door, there there is there is words. Um, I, I should probably point out that if it's pitch black, I don't think I can see anything. No, but you can feel. Mm. That's true. I just I don't know why I touched the top of a door. I just want to point out that there's words there. Okay. I, I, I just feel it. I mean, if I saw them whilst, go, whilst I was making my way down before, I would definitely have read them, but at maybe. the minute I can't see any way for me to work it out that would make sense on character. Yeah, maybe okay. you feel them and you're like, oh, hey, there's something written here. We need another line. Yeah. Or, or you saw it, like, briefly when you had the torch. Yeah, yeah, that, that works uh, for me. It, it makes okay. sense. I'm glancing around. It cautiously for statues, even whilst I'm going down this way. So, mm -hmm. so what of the world? Get get green in that way. Let go. Yeah. 
I wonder though, the flying fold in that lady is gonna keep these things from me. Well, there's only one way to find out. There's a few ways to find out. Sorry, I my connection dropped out again. <laughs> yeah, he's already asked and got uh, slapped into a wall. Despite Phoenix warning him to be polite, physically <laughs> prepared, nah, he, he just started talking to royalty as if it was a done thing. And yeah, yeah probably, probably yeah. got suitably chastised. Hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, kneel down and, and say, uh, Your Highness, uh, I request passage with my fellows down this hall. And kneeling before the statue. Alright. Um, make a... <laughs> make a charisma check. Okay. Is this parlay or fighting um, charisma? Charisma to fight danger, yeah. I'm ready and on hand to provide assistance in exactly how to word your... <laughs> Not that ready and on hand, however. Oh no. I think that's my third experience this session. I, I maybe maybe I had more. Double check. That's the same man, your your best bet is just to add it as it happens. Yeah, you can that's what I've been the, trying to do. You can go yeah, for the threshold but... in roll twenty and it doesn't it doesn't matter. Yeah. If that makes sense. You could have twenty seven over twelve. If you had a really bad yeah. session, it would still be fine with that. Uh, the, the statue will lift one foot off of her, off of her, uh, her pedestal, her throne there, and smush it down onto your face, um, and pin you there, uh, and say that you did not give her anything like the respect that she is expecting. What do the rest of you do? Is this understandable to us? Interesting. I mean, so the statue is moving. The statue is moving and the statue is stepping onto cliff. Uh, you guys yeah. get that much. Um, as far as... I, I am a big stone statue myself. Am I... is it significantly larger than me? Um... Okay, you, you, guys, you guys are equal size. Um, okay. But both of you are somewhat larger than a human. But you are mewing, so... That's yeah. what gives the advantage to it. I'm sorry, do we understand what it said? But... Yeah, I'm trying to think about that. Um... Uh, the statue uh, would have s said that last part in um, a very, very old and obscure dialect of Elvish. So, Adrian, you probably would have understood it. Would have? Yes, would have? Yes, would have. Phoenix, okay. uh, it, you Grand histories of the Nord Nord. For bardic lore, so I'm guessing I've studied my fair share of ancient treaties and mm -hmm. uh, texts. Yeah. If I've got an entire skill devoted to it, it's not. <laughs> okay, great. So you you would understand the gist of what the statue is saying as well. Um. <clears throat> do do I do I recognize the statue as being Vecca? Or you can make a spout lower. I would like to. Hang on. Sure. Or of the image of Vecca, I would say. Mm -hmm. Spout lower. Mm. Uh, you get you get plus one because um, mm. from your fount of knowledge, I think. Yeah, that would be true. Let me just 
Thanks. Yeah, okay. All right. uh, you recognize this statue as being um, the likeness of Versa the Tyrant, who... Um, I've heard the name. But I don't remember where from. Um, who, in certain conspiracy um, uh, theories floating around there in the arcane world, um, was potentially uh, Vecca when she was alive. Hmm. Back, way back when, when she was mortal and obviously a, a tyrant. Apparently. Okay. Um, can I piggyback off of that? Because I was about to spout lore as well for it then, and I'll just ask Adrian in that case. Mm -hmm. What's the customs for greeting a, greeting a royal? Said in modern elvish slang. So she has no chance of picking it up <laughs> and knowing what we're saying. Nice. What's up, my homie? <sighs> right. Or something. <laughs> to elvish, familiar, elvish similar. Yeah, yeah. What do I know about greeting royalty? Well, here was what my thought was. I We have confirmed that this, that Vecca was Versa when she was alive. That's the rumor. Uh, that, is, <clears throat> that is the rumor and the statue in Vecca's lair seems to add some some evidence to that. Okay. No, I re I'm thinking about what I was thinking, and I can't really go through with it at this point. Uh, just because that's a lot, of, a lot of backstory. Like, could I leverage my previous relationship with Vecca to our advantage by kind of calming this statue down? But I don't think that's possible. Simply because I only knew Vecca, not Versa. In my, in my, as my, my thought. Hmm. Uh, Cliff, you have a, you, your stone cheek is pressed to the floor. Yeah, I guess I'm kind uh, of annoyed to get down on the ground with a foot on my head. I, yeah, I'll just kind of stay there. <laughs> I'm not fighting back yet at the moment. Right. I'm just like, well, okay. Yeah. She's got her foot on my head, and she's just like, you disrespected me. So, I mean, I'll, uh, I'll just be like, yeah, yeah, that's my bad. Sorry. How do you yeah, approach right. royalty who, when you kneel in front of them in supplication, thinks that's an offense? <laughs> well, I imagine it was more the other stuff. Oh. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'm looking up at these guys while they're from, from on the ground, like anything. Uh, do, do you want to do one more spout, Lord, or try and figure out what the appropriate response is? Mm hmm. Either of you? Any of you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Two in a row. <laughs> can, can I uh, uh, aid by being very uh, 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 dejected and on the ground? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Aid with charisma. No. Uh, oops. Okay, yeah, 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 all right. Okay. I have one button. Great. Great. Okay. And who, who asked that? Was that Phoenix? Phoenix? Yeah. Okay. All right. 
Uh, so, um, Phoenix, you recall in ancient times it was uh, the custom of barbaric ru rulers um, to request that the offending party kiss their feet, um, and then they would be somewhat forgiven for their 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 sacrilege against against their, their ruler. Okay. And, and and how how do you know this, Phoenix? Hmm. Well, the thing about barbaric barbarian rulers is they make quite interesting uh, characters in any great tale. Sometimes the hero has to defeat them. Sometimes they have to they get enslaved and forced to fight for them for a short period. They they always seem to have a fairly prominent role in the stories of the distant past. If only so the audience can sit and feel so much better about themselves because they are not barbarians anymore. <laughs> they don't make people kiss their feet and so on and so forth. So that is where he knows it from. It's the many, many tales of barbarian kings and queens and their foes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you um, know this. So yeah, Phoenix just leans over and goes just with common slang this time around and just says, kiss the broad's feet. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll tilt my head up a little bit and, go, and give like a big loud Mwah! Forgive our <laughs> foolish friend there because he knows not what he does. It seems <laughs> he was hastened and he should have been far, far more respectful, far, far more demure, far, far more supplicant, as he now demonstrates with another kiss. What? <laughs> Smiling away. <laughs> this is a word. <laughs> the the queen the the statue of of the of the the queen will will gradually pick her foot up, uh, set it back down on the seat. The the footstool of her throne. Um, and will Can I can I say when I talk as a robot, I've been talking in, in cliff voice, but I think I sound like like uh, your highness where like you know barely legible kinda robot speak. Uh, but but the the moi we're statue. <laughs> I am a statue. I don't know how else a statue would talk. But... You go slow and gravelly. <laughs> <laughs> Pun intended. Of course. <laughs> All right, but anyway, yeah, I'll slowly try and stand up. But I'll, I'll, I'll go to a regular new line. The um, the statue will 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 pound once on the, on the arm of, of her of her throne here, um, and ah, oh God, Phoenix, <laughs> regret nothing. <laughs> He really uh, lavished uh, attention on her. The uh, the queen will will uh, pound once on the on the arm of her the throne, and the statues along the corridor will will come to attention and shout, "Hail the queen!" Um, and uh, she will gesture down the corridor for you. Yeah, hail the queen indeed. Thank you very much. Your, your, your grace. <laughs> I guess we'll go. I'll oh, go yeah. first. Phoenix, Phoenix makes a point of uh, bowing low, kissing his f fingers and putting the fingers on the feet yeah. again, just as an extra. Yep. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll take Not that point. Saying yeah. cheers and going because we don't want to get attacked. I get it. Yeah. Right. And, but then, I'll right. take this scarf that's around her eyes and like put it 
around her neck like a scarf, I guess, before I go, like, Aww. is this better? You, uh, I'll, I'll just keep going. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I will, I will kiss her feet as well. Just kneel straight down uh, and yeah, do it. Cause, sure. eh, go it's, for it. A, it's a, yeah. Yeah, why not? What, what do I have to lose? <laughs> you take me to? Oh, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you'll, you'll join me in the song that, or the poem that Phoenix writes. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's plenty of those. Plenty of uh, Phoenix songs about, her poems about feet kissing. About multiple things. That's just the next thing to add to it. In fairness, I'm pretty sure I ended up with a frog's head and had to go about kissing princes at one point. Or, well, that was one of the solutions we had in mind before, sadly, this, this spell was just replaced. I think we just need, we, we've got the hag to rescind the spell, but, but it is what it is. Right. And he still kind of follows flies for his eyes just a bit too much. Uh, so I'm going to spend one hold to high five a rope down. No. <laughs> I assume I can do that without a hold. I, uh, I don't know that they'll want to do that. That's fine. I, I, I think it would be a hold, yeah, to. Uh... <laughs> High five as a statue. Wait, wait. There are wait. worse things to spend than you bought. If I. Oh, I know. The, I don't. the statue has a the statue has a confused look on its face, but it copies your gesture. <laughs> Phoenix walks back towards Rusty, holds out his hand as well. Do as the statue to do. This is what the cool kids do. <laughs> so this, the iron golem follows along behind you with a very lost and depressed. <laughs> How can you be depressed when you're high fiving someone? That's like opposites. Yeah, we definitely need to cheer this guy up somehow. Yeah, folks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show him AI artificial intelligence. Adrian, you need to start working on a charm spell that instead of just charming them into f doing whatever you want, just makes them happy. That's mm -hmm. it. That's all it does. Just I like it. I like it. I will definitely think about this. <laughs> I mean, is it really ethically wrong to force someone to be happy? Really? No. By by the by the way, Phoenix, the lettering above the door, um, that you saw when the torch was lit, um, said, "I shunned the light." Yeah, well, the light is shunned that. Hidden, that. Is that the hidden rhyme. Possibly. Actually, that is an amazing and excellent point. I'm going to head back over there. Oh, I'm, I'm going to take out a little chisel and just kind of engraved, uh, and below it, it was a delight. Well, okay. <laughs> I, I, sh I and in fact, even better, I shunned the light because it gave me a fright. Uh. Because that will totally sound demeaning when uh, eventually the lich discovers that graffiti. That's so much better. <laughs> you can't deface the dungeon with graffiti. <laughs> you can't have all. <laughs> this is the most evil thing you've ever done. Probably, ironically. <laughs> he doesn't really do evil very well. Phoenix, you feel your alignment. You face the, the property of an evil undead witch. I mean, that, that's kind of like. Fairly to that, I would argue. Oh, God. <laughs> Phoenix, your alignment shifts to chaotic evil. <laughs> Am I at least chaotic good? Okay. Woo. Random acts of kindness. <laughs> <laughs> if, if 
I can take that that notebook back for a minute, I want to continue drawing Rusty and showing him like look it's you. <laughs> <laughs> the um, the features of the golem uh, it'll perk up just a little bit at <laughs> at your your attempt at drawing him. Mm. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Maybe in a little bit, I'll, I'll yeah, I'll hand I'll hand him the the, the the notebook and the charcoal, like gesture, like. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> turn turn to an empty page. Like, Here, <laughs> give him the charcoal gun with notebook. Does he even have like digits to hold things with? Uh, he's got fingers. Yeah. Okay. Try to put the, the notebook and the charcoal in his hands and flip to an empty page. Snakes don't have legs. Don't copy him in that regard. Otherwise, <laughs> good luck. That's that's the spider, but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Sorry, guys. Is that one of those you have to move it around until eventually yeah. you get yeah. it into the right shape? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I want so, this one. The the door in front of you guys has uh, this um, on it. On its uh, its surface here, mm -hmm. um, and after some examination, it seems that uh, this is how this is a, a locking mechanism on on that door. Okay, I, I always hate it, <laughs> but it's just because I wasn't very good. Oh, but there's a skull in there. We can totally make this work. Yeah. And what happens when we fix it? We just make a Cthulhu? <laughs> it does stand to reason that on the other end of this thing is, well, whatever we put on there. But let's just get ready to run back if we need to. <laughs> um, are we okay to just start moving these around? Uh, you should be able to, yeah. Do we need to do it like they are, they are kind of thing, or can we just move it like that and just assume we move it the way we would need to move it to make that happen? Uh, I mean, presumably you should shift the pieces. Uh, According to like if it was a slide puzzle, like this one's yeah. going to here, but this and one can't just, move here. This, yeah, and then there's this top one here that is kind of the empty one, and that one slides yeah. down at the very end. So. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is with a sigh. That's kill some time once the world ends, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> tick tock, tick tock. Like that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not touching that few stuff. So. <laughs> I don't want to overcrowd the. In the meantime, I'm also going to draw that puffy cat. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's good. Going around. Oh, I see. Wow. That was a, what, a minute? Um, not something, done yet. Something though. along those lines. Um, let me Thank just work you. out. Oh, is that it pre pretty much done? Uh, there's no, there's there. this one. There's just this one. Just a little bit of. The one needs to go down here, I think. Yeah, yeah. But that's that's easier said than done. Sorry, where do you think this one needs to be? I think this one needs to be here. Yeah, okay. If you guys want to spout lore, you can kind of see what the overall picture might be. No, that's uh, right. I think I'm, pretty, I'm pretty like. sure we've actually got it. Just a case of yeah. adjusting it around. There's a problem with this. I don't right. know if it's solvable. It's got. It's definitely solvable. It's. Yeah, I just need to work out where this one goes. Well, the problem right, this is. This one goes here. It, this one, I think, goes here, and and you could get it there. It's just then you know, have to displace these. It's 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 all very. Well, my issue is how do you get this here? And then move anything else after that. Well, I think that you have to do this last. Okay. Yeah, that would ever be the last piece to come down. All right. And like, yeah, these two are in the right place, but it's yeah. just like how do you get this one down here? This one back up here. Put this one back here. Oh, that's... Mm -hmm. Take the good one. I'm pretty sure I put this together. Well, I the think way. you did. But I'm I'm actually not seeing a manipulation where you guys can get the pieces. Let me this... just let me just move move two pieces here and and you guys may be able to solve it better. I was gonna say should this be an awful puzzle? 
Maybe we should roll for this cheater move. <laughs> <laughs> that the DM is giving us. We pretty much have it. We got the symbol. We got it quickly. We, yeah. It's just a case yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this one goes here. Um, uh, this You've got that dagger still, Cliff? You can just pry one of these yeah. out. And... <laughs> 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 totally solved it without cheating. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> oh man. Phoenix steps back and <laughs> decides, you know what? I've mocked Adrian enough today. I don't need to point out that a wizard should be solving these things and riddles and all the challenges and stuff like that. So instead, he's just going to go war with a sense of self satisfaction. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll still that? make sure Adrian's in front of him in case there is a skeleton tentacle monster in front of him <laughs> in this place because I do not want to get attacked. Right, right. No, I, I, I think I may have like switched two pieces around, which makes it impossible to solve. So, uh, sorry about that, guys. That's alright, that's alright. It's, it's something different, you know? I mean, you don't get challenges like that in the middle of a whole playing game very often. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, as the final piece clunks into place, the door will unlatch, and you guys will enter into the next room. Dun dun dun. dun. <laughs> Is that our cliffhanger? Um, what do you guys feel? I mean, I don't know. We've been going five and a half hours. It's, it's, uh, I, I'm happy to go a little bit longer, but I don't want to go much longer because I do have some homework I'm going to finish up tonight. But, uh, you know, I've gotten far enough where I did it. You know, I knew that I knew that this session might go on, so. Uh, yeah, um, what, whatever you think, Sean, if we can get to another stopping point in, say, half an hour, I'd say, uh, keep going. If we're, but if it's, the next thing's going to take longer than half an hour, probably stop you. Yeah, I think I think this is probably the best stopping point. Um, you guys got this far, and it's, it's a good area to kind of pause at and get your bearings and stuff. So now, not that it. Uh, so I know that we can level up when we rest, and we level up at the end of the session. Mm -hmm. Can you level up at the end of a session if you aren't resting? Not that I'm uh, going to. I don't think I am. But. I think technically you have to rest in order to level up, but I don't think we've followed that rule in the past. It's been mostly like end of session, yeah, you can level up, whatever. Yeah, we, we've been kind of loose about that. So if, if you have enough experience to level up... Yeah. I don't think I do, but we'll see. Because you guys got tons of experience and I got bugger off. <laughs> I mean, I got three. I got Thank none. You. Like, I don't fail rolls anymore. <laughs> I should start stabbing things again. That was a good way to get experience. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Uh, end of session here. Any bonds that have been resolved? Uh... No, no, I, I don't know. I've shown Phoenix a secret light at right of the land. The spirit spoke to me of a great danger that follows Adrian. I would say that if Phoenix does something with, with the uh, the uh, the river song that I had sang, that would complete the bond, but I don't believe he has at the moment. Mm -hmm. So uh, that, that bond hasn't really developed or changed in any way. Uh, and Adrian still seems like there's some stuff going on there. Uh, so, I wouldn't say I have a complete either of those. Alrighty. I have the bond Adrian is now a source of scorn from Phoenix for her callous murder of a skeleton. Mm. And she's definitely been getting um, a lot of scorn of late. So, yeah. that one's probably about due to... Because at this point, he's probably got most of that out of his system. Yeah. Until she does another 
random murder and we go right back to step one. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's probably reasonable. I might add the bond, uh... Let me see. I'm trying to, trying to find that... I put that paper sheet. On the paper sheet. Here it is. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's Rusty smells more like prey than a hunter. <laughs> but, in more of a, but in more of a sense of just like, he needs some help. Uh, okay. I'm good with that. Yeah. <laughs> I've got one for you, Ian, for uh, Cliff. Um, yeah. Based off of his uh, cataclysmic uh, attempts at negotiation there and obligation, <laughs> yeah. we take him under his wing. You clearly need more training okay. in the art of the negotiation. I literally charmed a snake. No, you offered food to a snake that then I pointed out how you could get much more food if you go I elsewhere. I pointed that out. No, actually, I pointed out first you went for the, you went for instead of eating oh. enemies, you said, why don't you just eat the innocent adventurers, which Phoenix was not cool with. But I did originally say, why don't you come oh, with okay. us and we can get. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. no, you definitely need coaching. <laughs> Alright, that, that works out. <laughs> Uh, I have to. I gotta taste. I gotta taste somebody's blood. Blank has tasted my blood, and I theirs. We are bound by it. Hmm. Yeah, gotta, well, gotta, gotta get that one. one. Gotta get that one down on paper. Mm -hmm. Uh. Okay. Hmm. So how how else do we get experience? It's our. Uh, experience and cliff you can um you can change experience to something more chaotic if you want oh right my li right alignment so I, I i would say that i helped something or someone to grow uh rusty oh yeah not as much as as phoenix did <laughs> but you know i helped and it will tie into okay. your bond once you yeah. resolve it so mm -hmm. yeah um i don't know i, I I'll think about the. I'll think about the. Um, I'll add the experience for now, and I'll think about changing it. Is that okay? And I'll sure. just take experience. Sure. I, one that I considered, but it's a little bit too vague and doesn't really describe an action as much as like a just a thing. I was gonna say make light of a serious situation for chaotic, or maybe chaotic embrace change or embrace a change. Hmm. Those are both a little bit vague, so I don't know. If those are a little too easy to fulfill. Uh, you know, we can we can kind of brainstorm over the over the break. Yeah. About that. Yeah. One of the easy I'm, ones I'm I not, found for I'm, when it was too vague is just to add in with consequence or with mm. chance of consequence. Mm. Okay. That, that way, so long as there's an actual risk to you, it's yeah. easier for you to get the experience. Mm. Uh, yeah, like yeah. like uh, like like Phoenix had a had an original <laughs> alignment of you know helping someone with the body guards, and he he can do that in his every session. Mm -hmm. so Easily, we change because it to... honestly, what else would a bard do except from cast body guards on mm -hmm. people to help them in combat? Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was a very yeah. silly. Idea. I'm not yeah. opposed to keeping good help something or someone to grow. Okay, it, it works, but uh, I I don't. Know. If something else comes up, which it might. Do that. Yeah. Um, what about those three uh, questions? Oh well, anybody else done their alignment? Or, uh, yeah, alignment. I would hope so. It's more like discovering the the world. Uh, yeah. Discover something about the world, not something stupendous necessarily. But what is my alignment? Yeah, discover well, something about a magical mystery. Yeah, the staircase. Why not? Snake. Yeah. Staircase. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say that's yeah. magical. Mm-hmm. Um, notable mm -hmm. enemies. I realized, Sean, that I didn't actually end up costing me anything in the end. But would you agree that using bardic arts on an enemy to revive them represented a serious chance of if it went wrong, it could have been bad enough to justify the XP? Healing the golem, obviously, I'm talking about. It could have gone bad, so yeah, I would agree. 
12 rigs with three questions. Did we learn something really important about the world? Yeah, sure. Right? Snakes? Yep. Mm -hmm. Statues? Kisses? Snakes, yeah. Statues? Yeah. Golem? Ooh, Sad golem? One. We also learned that Versa is Vecca. Right. Mm -hmm. Did we overcome a notable monster enemy? Yeah! Yeah, you progressed in the dungeon. Snakes. Uh, statue, snake, yeah. Go one little way. Okay. You know it. Yeah. Leveled. Loot a memorable treasure. We probably got someone's soul and then lost it. So <laughs> no, yeah. We looted it, Rusty! but. Uh... Rusty! <laughs> Rusty! Rusty's not a treasure! Well, he's a... Shut up! Yes, no, he is. No, not in that sense. He's not loot. <laughs> he's a national treasure because we all love him. Hmm. We'll be giving him medals and stuff to make him feel better and stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take experience for loot and memorable treasure, if that's okay, because rest yeah. of the treasure. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I'm one point away from level. Or, no, sorry, level three. Uh, one point away from nine. Alright. Alright, cool. Oh, that was a. That was an interesting session, guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very much so. We made it, I would say, 50 feet, probably. Yeah, yeah. 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 That, that last bit, we really pushed through. Yeah. It's like, it's like American football. We're just, you know, playing <laughs> over. A game of inches. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> No, I've got a search. Well, a lot of a lot of violence and permanent injury for not very much progression. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's true. It's a good way of looking at it. Oh man. Oh, I I have to laugh actually. Over here, everybody kind of makes light of American footballers because the logic is they're wearing armor, right. so they're not as tough as you know rugby players and stuff like that. Right. Keep <laughs> trying to explain that. The armor isn't to defend them against being hit, it's to make it so they can hit harder when they do right. hit. Yeah. That's literally all the purpose it serves, it's like yeah. give, giving a boxer boxing gloves. It doesn't protect him so much as it means he can hit harder without causing himself injury. Right. Or it's not in, this, in the case of American football, cause less injury or different yeah. injury. Like a, a less visible but potentially more permanently uh, debilitating. Yeah. Yeah, don't like almost all the deceased players have the same brain it's, disease. It's, it's, a big, it's a big it's a big problem. Yeah, I have a, my, my friend's uh, little brother is really good at football. Um and uh his his, his mom keeps trying to keep him from from doing it because he's already had like three concussions. Mm. It's it fucking sucks. It's rough. But um, that's nice. It's what you do. So. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thing is, most athletic ability is fairly transferable, so long as he's young enough. Yeah, yeah. You know, you you can go from being a good footballer to being a good. You can, and he he did, he did he did uh, baseball and stuff, but he wants to do football. It's a big jump between baseball and football, um, yeah. American football. He you wants know, to do football. It's it's cooler. He's better at it. You know, it's I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know him very well, but it's I just know. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Ominous tales of sporting possible injury aside, uh, I guess I'll sign off. Uh, Sean, yeah. as always, thanks for running it. Great uh, session. Excellent. Yeah. See you guys in two weeks. Daniel Ian? Yeah, sure. Right. Okay. Take right. care of right. yourself. Yeah, take care. Yeah. Hey, it's just you and me. Oh, cool.